and keeping my eyes closed and keeping okay. my eyes closed. We can open them. Oh, Good darling. Feeling, right? It's very romantic. Thank you. This is the Thank nicest you. thing you've ever done for me. No. Oh, look at this. It's one of them. We're going to get thrown out of this. Maybe I, I, oh, you might be able It's in here. Is it? Okay. Look, we'll settle up at the end. Please, exercise restraint. Nice sure. to meet you. Hi. Adam, nice to meet you. Sorry. Everything okay? So far, good. Yeah. Please, don't ever. <laughs> wow. That's, that's no good. That's no good. What happened there? I don't know. Is, is everything okay? To do with the sweets. I think this just called a sniper. I farted. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, that was exciting. Three turns. Well, so let's go and yeah, check in. Let's check in. These tassels are quite good for swatting flies away. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Donkey in a field. That's racist, isn't it? Mm, it's borderline. I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking. God so, damn it. Yes. Well, here we are. What? Where in, are we? We're here? in the custard tart district the tart. of Lisbon. The tart district. Called Belém, my favourite. I think. We'll go to the takeaway. Oh, so sorry. No, no, sorry, okay. mate. Oh, I just did you blow his shot? I trashed the guy's shot. Oh, custard tarts. These custard tarts are real. Oh my god. Oh my god. People are going nuts for these tarts. What's they're, so special they're about crazy. them? crazy. Secret recipe from 1837. Hello. And um, could we get six custard tarts, please? And do you want some? See what I did. Six. Do you want? Please. I'm here all week. Only six people know the recipe. Three chefs. Thank you. We have to wait a bit. Three chefs and three owners, and they're not allowed to go on a plane at the same time. Is that true? It is true. Right. Would I lie to you? Righty, right. Okay. Give me yeah. some tarts. Okay. I want some tarts. There Give me go. custard tart. Go. Oh my god. There's two. Oh my gosh. Okay, you. Okay, I'll have this one. Here we go. How do we do this? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. I need to steep them. Yeah. Wow, what happened? It went I'm straight. joking. It was delicious. That's good, man. It's good. The custard tart is so good. It is good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I don't remember that shaggy song. Do you, do you know? No. Custard tart. Custard tarts. Custard tart. Custard tart. Give me custard tart. That didn't chart, did it? Custard tart, it did not chart. Okay. Can we, um, yeah. Yeah. Adam, have you uh, packed your broken doll? Sure, yeah, you asked me to... Uh, to bring it. Bring a doll, so I've had it stuffed down my pants for the last time. That's why we were held up in security yeah, so long. Sure. Hey! This is the Hospital de Buneca. The so doll hospital. Oldest in the world, founded 1830. Get in the door. Okay, so this is the outpatient's unit. Yes. It seems to skew female. That's a doll that you don't want to put in the corner of a child's room. No. That seems unfair. No child is asking for that doll. That doll... I have doll... a tiny shrunken grandma to watch me. <laughs> that doll comes with, with this sound. Hang on, look, I've got a face to go with that. Is it the same as your face? <laughs> Is your face hidden in your polo shirt? Are you going to really stop? No. I'm waiting for the finale. <laughs> I need an arc. I need an arc in this performance. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's good. Oh, mate. Oh, that's a good, just a big old crater babies. <laughs> Down just here, them yeah. all in the box. Oh, look, Adele. <laughs> and, uh, look at all those Barbies caught in a net. In Whoa. There. Like their tuna. That is massively weird. I don't even know where you get to that. That's not cool because a lot of those are endangered. 
Yeah. He hasn't been to hospital, has he? Or is that the best they could do? Frostbite. It's frostbite, isn't it? Look at his poor fingers. He um, was with Shackleton and didn't make it. Let's Ooh. move. A lot of creepy business. Were you ever a doll man? I still am. No. I... no. You never had, like, action men or anything like that? Oh, no. No, he didn't have action men. I'm an only child. What does that mean? You, you can't you're, do you're somebody else's action man. Don't you need a group? Someone's got to animate that, and otherwise you're kind of... No, because you, that's sit, a breakdown. There, you sit there on your own and you <laughs> get the dolls and you say, Hello, why, why, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? You can, as other conversations are available, but... Yeah. That's, do you never do any of that? I mean, obviously, you know, I often, I did have some breakdowns like that, but that was later. I had something approaching a career with dolls in the late 90s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, ten, no, 20 years ago. That was a cruel adjustment, wasn't it? Ten, actually, let's <laughs> full confession. <laughs> 79 years ago. 79 years ago. These would all have been coming back with me in my backpack. Come on. Now, only half of them will. Adam, what did you think of this? Thank you, Richard, for bringing me here. I loved it so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet. Are we going up the giant tower? Yeah, that's Look right. Look at the size of the queue. We have to join it. Oh, come on. I know you're used to skipping to the VIP. Yeah. How do you feel about heights? I'm not comfortable. So the banter's going to get strained when we get to the top, isn't it? Well, my flow may be interrupted. <laughs> what about you? No, I've got nothing. You're OK? Uh, as in, I don't have any phobias, but I've got no banter. Come, please, don't force me into a compliment. All right, then. Hey. Come on. This is too high. Whoa. This is too high for Look school. Look at that. Castle Ultra Bulk. Ultra Bulk. That's my shipment of male sanitary products. Oi. Do you, re do you feel a bit... Um... I feel crippled with terror. Do you, really? It's, it feels... I don't... It just doesn't... This isn't enough to protect me from falling. I feel like the king of the world. Feels thin, like Leo. I don't think people are meant to be this high up. No, this is a right. good height. Oh, I feel as oh. if I'm in... I mean, I am in Lisbon, but I feel as if I'm in a kind of IMAX Lisbon. It's a lot. It's like it's, real life almost. It's a lot for your eyeballs to drink in. I'm really falling in love with... It's only been a few hours and I'm already... Are uh, you about to tell me you love me? I was going to say I love Lisbon. Same thing. I was going to use the phrase... Who I'm, are you with? I'm a lesbian. Come now. Let's descend. All right. I think we've already descended quite far. <laughs> I know. It's mainly my fault. Come on. Wow, those guys were off the hook. <laughs> They're probably heading what to... What are they like? Liqueur Town. we we'll best get... get into the shop before they frickin' drain it. Why are we here? Hello. Well, Good morning. Hello. Good morning. That could apply at any time, that question. Okay. We're here to have alcohol in the morning, which apparently people here do. It's only 9 a.m. I know. You have to sound slightly slurry okay. to say it. Dos de gingers, por favor. Dos de gingers, consai. Consai almas. Yeah, that one. Did you ask the gingenies? The fruit, yeah. The way you poured that is a way which suggests that people have said, oh, whoa, keep going, <laughs> well, keep, keep, keep going. going. <laughs> that is not full. Until it is over the top of the glass, I'm not happy. Is it OK to lick the tabletop afterwards? Yeah, oh that's, that's, wow. that's very, very good to okay. the wood. That's very full. So we don't, we don't knock it back? No, don't drink like a shot, yeah. No, no, Slowly no. taste it and to finish it, the fruit. OK. okay. The power is in the fruit, OK? The power, it, the power is in the fruit. <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. So good. Okay. In Portuguese, we say salud. Sa salud? Yeah. Salute. It's like a cheers. Right. To better times. You're dripping I'm, a lot it's of It's your... so full. I can't. This is... We need to take these outside. Oh, yeah. We go outside. Wow. 
And if Here someone's drinking this in the morning, I don't think it's fair to fill up the glass that much. Their hand's probably already a little... Wobbly. Are you eating breakfast before you have this? No, 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 this is before breakfast. This is pre-solids. Yeah. Crumbs. Yeah, that's the taste of I'm not going to make it through to lunch. Wow. Mm. That is very, I, I would call it smooth. I'd say that's very sweet and quite heady. I need to get through the day at pace. We're getting the head shake from the guy in the car over there. Mate. A slow head shake. Get out your car. A judgment. Come and have some cherry booze. Don't, don't judge this. And just relax. Yeah. All you need to do is say, and then you can be part of the club. You'd worry if we were in surgical gowns. <laughs> you know, I bet some people do. I bet you there's some professionals. Some surgeons. Who, yeah, sure. Steady the hand. Steady the hand. It does taste medicinal. Mm. Now there's, yeah. Do you see genius? George Ginis? George Ginis? George Ginis? Yeah. George Ginis. It's good. Fine. Every... They all sound so slurry, you can't tell who's sober, yeah. Everyone's... who isn't. These I think guys, they've adopted they it as a defense. We know it out what did they say? We know it out. Oh. Oh, they. And we wow. should have said, con. We should have said, Alice. Well, excuse me, say, we know it out. Yeah. Yeah. Koalas. 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 Yeah. Koalas. So essentially everyone sounds a bit like Rude Hullet here. <laughs> You're not down to your... Um... I can't. Come on. It's the morning. Do you want some of this? Yeah, I'll have yours after mine. Okay. I can't have this. I'll start to try and climb up the wall. What are you, some kind of professional? I... I'm nearly 50. It's fine for me to be drinking on the street before 9 a.m. It's fine. You're on the slow slide <laughs> to the end. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my zh 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 zh. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, mate. There we go. That's okay. fine. I can cope. I was I... just about... Look, you've got to have your fruit Okay. Now. I mean, it's too much. It's not enough. This is pre-my McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> Okay, now you must eat the fruit. No, I must eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. Who are you, the serpent? And the metal you spit the seeds. Okay, and then I'm out of the Garden of Eden, yeah. right? Yeah, we've seen this before. Good. This is a strange kind of Western. <laughs> this is some kind of Jodorowsky Western. And then where I have to spit my cherry stone into your mouth. Into my mouth. And then you become a crab and go. <laughs> waste. There we go. Well, this is one of my finest hours. <laughs> you and know I just I... return that. I mean, I feel I'm in pieces. Right. Thank you. Obrigado. It's very nice. Obrigado. Um, I just wish it were shortly before my bedtime. I'd like it to be 8 p.m. and I'd like to be lying down on a pillow. Not on a bed, just a massive pillow. Mm -hmm. I love a ciggy. <sighs> You're in bits. <laughs> Tell me about your childhood. How's that? Jujinja? <coughs> ah. Oh, I can't wait to get to the age where I just wear all one colour. You get to a certain age and you just go, I'm in maroon now. Everything's maroon. <laughs> or lime green. I'm having my fruit now. Also, quite competitively priced. One euro forty. Yeah. What's the alcoholic strength of this then? 23%. That's nothing. What's happened to you? 23% before breakfast is fine. Look, if it was sort of 70, then then you've got some... 70? Jejin? Jejinish. 70% is what That's you use much. to remove acrylic. Exactly. No one's suggesting you should have that before breakfast. Okay. But 23, yes. I'm going to take your glass back. That's, well, that's one, your limit. One more. That's your limit. All right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Adam, come on. I'm going to spit my spit stones. Spit your cherry in. Shake yes. up and go. Hang on. Let's create a BAFTA clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a low moment. Let's leave frame. All right. I'll meet you at the other side of this table. All right, then. 
Here we go. All right, Jimmy Facts. Yes. Well, in this square, the revolution of 1974 started in April. Was it televised? It wasn't televised, despite... Where are you going? I don't know. Don't just wander off in the middle of my fact rundown. Come on, then. April 1974. Yep. A peaceful coup. Bloodless. After 50 years yeah. of, you know, dictatorship. The signal for the revolution was the Portuguese entry in the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh! Who was the guy who did it? Paulo de Caballo. Paulo de Caballo. That Remember means... him? Is it, I think that means horse Paul. Horsey Paul. Yeah. Are you able to do an approximation of Horsey Paul's Eurovision entry? And after the farewell. Is that what it's called? It certainly is. I wouldn't dare try and do it a cappella. Did it, it was go... was very complex. Would it be disrespectful, do you think? I, I think there's a good chance. What about if you did it like this? Come on, let's have a revolution. We meet you in the square and the goal to change things around with a bloodless coup. Come on, it's going to be fun. He wasn't Bjork's uncle. Well, you do it then. I'm, I'm not doing it out of respect for what they achieved, for what they built in 1974 and April. Now I'm frightened of the guards over there. Yes. I think they heard that. They heard that weird Cockney nightmare. It's not Cockney, it's Portuguese. Was it? was it Portuguese? Yeah. How did the song go again? <laughs> how, did, how did it go? She told me not to do it again. The director just said, don't do the song again. OK. How did the... But I've forgotten how the song goes exactly. <laughs> Come on, let's have a revolution. We'll meet in the town square, it's nice. And we're gonna have a bloodless call. Come on. I'm not so sure that you've quite nailed it. You need to do a tiny bit more before Come you can. Come on, let's have a revolution. We'll meet in the square, it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna, um, go and seek professional. If you're not counseling. interested in history, then no, that's no. your lookout. No, okay. Well, hey, look at this guy. This is a pilgrimage I've waited a long time to make. 16th century Portuguese satirist. Antonio Ribeiro Chardo. Yeah. Yeah, busting rhymes. Really undermining the establishment back then, like a one man Radio 4 panel show. Yeah. I've been spinning rhymes in the 16th century, and now I'm sat in the middle of city, sitting, uh, sitting cool here on my plinth, like the artist formerly known as Plinth. I wonder where our statues will be situated. Okay. Have I have any? You want to go here? Sure. This is nice. Hey, look, there's no glass. Oh. <laughs> That's not right. Do you like these kind of things? Trams? Yeah. I'm always on a tram. Are you? Yeah. I got a tram to this tram. <laughs> it's so nice not to have the glass here, just to hang out. I could high five someone if I wanted. Someone on another tram? Yeah. That could end in bloody tears. Come on, I'm going to try it. Maybe. Could high five someone in this house? I, I don't see why there aren't more people lining up to high five you. It's as if they don't know about your scheme. Yeah. Him. I am going to get a high five. I think what's going to happen is you're going to assault someone. <laughs> so he get... wants a high five. Go on. High five. No. Looked away. The problem is it just looks like you're doing a Nazi salute from a tram. That is not... Don't get all... It's not like... Well, I'm just saying be careful about the signals you send out. All right. I mean, they've just got over a dictatorship. You look like some kind of Burger King boxing champ. Ah, yeah, Kid Whopper. Let's get in here. Let's get you that meat you need. It's broiling. Wow. Oh, that's warm. Oh, oh, that's good. I don't know what does. Wow, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well, God. There's yeah. no danger of it cooling down. I don't think you should be able to eat fast food in a sauna. Yeah, but don't tell me that fry's not going down well. How's the burger? <laughs> you good, right? <laughs>
Oh, there you go. That's oh, right. That's really good. Yeah. My eyebrows are hot. Probably not oh. supposed to do this, right? Can you win it? Let's see what happens. Mmm. Nothing really came up of that. It's just stained those rocks. Wow, it really did stain those white rocks. Mm. Looks like someone's defecated on those rocks. I'm not so sure someone hasn't. Oh! Yeah. Oh, God! Yeah, that's the eye sweats. Who <laughs> thought of this? Who? Who? I don't know, but I want to shake his hand. I'm presuming it's a man. Yeah, I'm <laughs> presuming it's, oh. a, it's a king. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, just throw, throw that tomato on the rocks. That's yeah. That's going to go for a while. Yeah. That might just burst into flames. It's cooking. It's like a barbecue. I feel I was put up to that by you, by the way, in case this becomes official. I was pressured into that. I'm very weak as a person. I'm going to try and scoop it back out with, with the ladle. Scooper. Ah. Oh. Oh, crumbs. Get it. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, hold on. Wait, let me get it with a fry. Ah. Oh, that thing's melting. We oh. almost had it. Wait a minute. Oh, no. no you fry. can't. It's fry. Oh, it's come apart in the middle. Ah, oh, crumbs. Son of a. Just flick it. Oh, we had come it. On, flick it on. All right, I can only put my hand flick in for a sec. Holy it on. moly. Oh, man, we're going to have to pay for some more rocks. You know what? We need more rocks. Oh, and now black stuff is coming <laughs> off. Look. We just need to flush this tomato down. <laughs> get it in we'll just flush it. Yeah. We just flush it down deep. No one's ever going to know. But, and then just scrape it. I've yeah, just got to do my due diligence now. Yeah. I've got to get that tomato deep. Oh, ow! Yeah, that one spit oh. back at you. That one, oh. let, that one let us. Oh, 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 oh! oh. oh. That's, ah! It's on me. You got the on heat? you. The heat or the tomato? Good night. That's hot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's it's. Uh, oh, that's hot. It, it's. Oh, that's so hot. <laughs> yeah. Good. Wow! Ugh! Oh. Oh. Wow! Oh! Ugh! Oh. Get a little more in there. Wow. No, 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 that's enough. That's my hands. No. Just burn my hands. That's a, okay. Burn my hands. Oh, no. And it, I need it's, the, it's the second wave that comes. Yeah, blast you in the face. I'm sorry I used that expression. I'm so used to water cooling things down. Not in sauna. Oh. No, don't do the whole thing. Don't. <laughs> no, don't. I won't do that. No, no, I'm leaving. God grief! Ah, it's burning me! 007, license to grill. Uh, They've really done that well. That's, that's, that's a great pun. Great. And that's a committed great. to that. I, you know what, James Bond, I just got it. Well, let's celebrate with one of these. We have three different kinds. Okay. We have the one with rice and okay. reindeer. Then we have just the traditional rice. And this is barley, the last one. Okay. I love the way you're assuming I can't speak Finnish, okay. which is so insulting. Um, but, okay, fine, let's talk in English. Okay. Um, let's have one reindeer and rice. Okay. I'll just heat it up. For um, my wife. <laughs> Do you also want one? I'll take you're, whatever you want to give. You're welcome. Okay. This reindeer yeah, is really Ra good. The reindeer is really right. good. Yeah. We'll, right. we'll settle up financially at the end. For the moment, I'm going to cover this. Thank ben? you. And Thank Paul you. loves these ones. You know the <laughs> ones which are just like stacked high with fish, like the tiny this. fish? Oh, where you've got is... the skin and the tail oh, and the bone. This is, I'm not kidding you. That stuff. This is my nightmare. One of these. He, I'll just eat We'll start with one. We'll be back for more. Okay. Thanks. This is fine. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's um, sit down and have yeah. our fish. I have this. I think, I, got a, yeah, I think there's some reindeer in this. Now, you expressed a, a special keenness in this one, didn't oh. you? What's coming out of the ends? Their souls. What's keeping them all together anyway? Why aren't they falling out individually? They're all bound together by hate. They hate themselves it's, it's and they a, hate what they've become. It's, a, it's not a, just an epoxy. What binds this fish together, let no man put us under. Mm. What, or now, try and understand. <laughs> I can't, I keep getting to hear, and then something in me so, saying, yeah, no. Yeah, sanity. That's what's saying, I'm not, I don't, yeah. This would be quite a good belt buckle, though. 
It is. Yeah? It's like a rodeo bike. I'm gonna get this for ZZ Top. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah, it's... I know. You see, I feel someone's made this with maybe like 15 fish once, and someone went, whoa, whoa, whoa. By the way, Don't a, piece, skimp. a piece of fluff or something just flew on and stuck to the fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Make a wish. Oh, it's kind of... It's resin, isn't it? It's not even... It's, oh, man. It's been... It, that's the display model. That's not you even edible. anyone's bought two of these? Has anyone bought a second one? <laughs> or did one just do it? It seems to attract fluff. You're right. Yeah? What is this? This is like a lint ball. <laughs> no, all right. OK, here we go. You really did it. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, get it in there. Mm. Okay. Why we didn't get alcohol with this, I have no idea. I don't have the sophisticated palate. Have some. To enjoy. I can't even tell if this is a good one of these. No, there are no good ones of these. That's like saying what kind of shot to the head is good. Richard, this, you know what? This I, is dense meat. I think I'm, I'm finished. Come now. Yep. That's a pun that's strong enough to warrant an exit. An exit. Where are you going? I'm going, I'm going okay. uh, to Sweden. Oh, this is a heck of a covered market, right? It really is. I know you're always on the lookout for lean meats. Always. Always. Well. At least 23 hours of the day. You're in luck. Especially if you want a lean meat with double the B12 you're used to. B24. Exactly. That's as much B as you can get. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kitos. You'd never know I just learned that from You want So this is reindeer jerky. This guy only exists on protein. Yeah, he, he's a, he's you could tell, than he's my thigh. only eats lean meats. Oh my good grief. I don't agree with anything he says. Any animal that subsists on lichen has got to be good news. Wow, look at that. Mm. Imagine, you must be getting through a lot of jerky taste? in New York. Is it right, oh, bread? please. Yeah. Mm. Re reindeer jerky. Thank Gosh, you. Gosh, and such small portions. Wow, that does not yield. Yes, it's, yes, it's very hard. Okay. How does it get so hard? Because it's dry. It's very, very long time. About uh, six months. Six months? About, yes. It's got yes. a very specific flavor. Mm. You can really taste that six months. Well, that's good. That's they not really bad. Know how to preserve meat here. And I don't, that's not a compliment I just dish out. This is gin, mm -hmm. grapefruit juice, carbonated, 5.5% created for the Olympics. It's a sporting excellence. Mm. I don't know what subsequent Olympic drinks have been. I normally you would have thought an isotonic sports drink or water. Right, right. Something with some electrolytes. Not gin. It was a different time. Maybe the Victorian Olympics when Dickens was doing the relay race. Mm -hmm. I want to say this. You've made short work of that long drink. Thank I'm you. Really, you know what? Thank I'm you. really putting this away quickly. Yeah. I think going on a tram this slow will do that to you. I don't know how you become a tram driver. Do you just, you like driving, but steering isn't for you? Yeah, I like I to just, be behind the wheel. And not move it. I, I just, just like to brake. I just want to be behind it. I want to brake yeah. and, and slowly speed up. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to refresh this long drink? Yeah? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll go for yeah. a, a new long drink. Yeah, take another one. Oh, yeah, thanks. Could we, um, one more long drink, please? Hi, I'm Paul. How's your tour going so far? She's the first time here. First time? Uh, yes. Ah. Where are you from? Russia, I'm Finnish. And you? New York. New York. Wow. New York, yes. So far away. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of far away. We've come to Finland. <laughs> well, I heard about the tram and I didn't why I couldn't miss it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, what the hell's going on? We're, 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 uh, we're gone one second we're to get you a long food. drink. <laughs> my... Tram mates, thank you. Thank no, you. It's a good. long drink. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I generally London. encourage them not to socialize in case there's a. That's the great thing about this tram. Put a couple of long drinks in me. I'm everybody's best friend. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. That. 
Is that the Har Samanda fountain that I've been hearing so much about? I think it might be. That was a heck of a fountain. I think it was we've a, missed the pretty, marketplace. It was a, it was a pretty... And I think that's all there is to see. What was your favorite part? My favorite part, I think, was going back up for a long drink and finding that you'd already made more friends than I've made in the last five years. <laughs> the seagulls are circling already. They know we're not going to finish these sweets. <laughs> right. All right. Let's crack open this salmiak. Oh, Did you get so... one of these cannonballs? Yeah. This looks like it's going to take a while to break down. Mmm. Wow. 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 I got a... mm. It mm. doesn't seem like candy. I can see why that clears mucus. It clears everything. You know, oh. I've got to say, I don't mind that. Really? I don't mind that. You're really salty. Mmm. That's been said to me before. Oh. Yeah. You know. Oh. Do you want to go in for one of these? Sure. Should I? What about one of these, huh? Those? The larvae. Yeah, the Civil War bullets. This is what Sigourney Weaver was trapped in. This is like pupa. Okay. Here we go. Wait a minute. I don't... Go on, just I... on the steps, it's fine. That's what it looks fine. like on the inside. This is a site of forgiveness. Oh. Mmm. Oh. That's a lot of salt. So, you, I'm really. Mm. Oh, wow! God, I'm. So, you're so. That's a lot of you're salt. You're so strong. You're really keeping it together. You've never. I'm smelling things I've never smelled before. Mmm. You know, I like this. Oh. It will not leave my teeth. I'll tell you that. You're like you're. Mmm. Oh, hi. You're so. Calm. That's quite good. You're so calm and yeah, here. 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 Yeah, uh, you know, I, I understand different countries have their own kind of tastes and candies and foods. You've just got to swallow it. But this seems like an entirely different species would enjoy something like this. Mm. That's pretty good. Oh, God. I might try the car one. Did you get a car one? Um, I did a car. This one looks like... I feel that you've got to eat it fast. Fat. Yeah, but if, if you eat it fast, you don't really get to enjoy it That's... in the way that I think it was intended. Mm. Too big. Don't stop. You need a lot of saliva. You need to break it down. I'm not... You oh. need to break it down. I'm not cleaning this up. The tubes are opening in me. They have been closed since the 90s. <laughs> this is like an excavation. This isn't even candy. This is incredible. This is, this is. I can see how they, they designed this in a lab in the 30s. That's ammonium chloride. It's a white powder. There's nothing is natural. This, this, it, no, this no, no, no. This doesn't occur naturally. Mm -mm. This doesn't I, occur, you need scientists to make this. This is the kind of thing you could put outside for 100 years. Bugs would never touch it. That will not break down. Mm -mm. You need teeth. You need saliva. You need a lot of hate inside you. Oh. Mm, incredible stuff. What is that? Is, that? is that what you tried? Should we try it together? You're, you're one down on me. This might do shots. <laughs> I still can't swallow the skull. You've got to just crush it down. Or the, or the medallion, whatever it was that I ate. You know like when you see a snake eat a mouse? No, it just goes, uh -huh, I'm gonna you just need to I... really get in there. I think I've savored this too much. Oh. Oh, good. God, it's like swallowing phlegm. Just chase it with the ice cream. Just chase it. Now, you see, now that tastes relatively mild by comparison. I mean, it's a disturbing color. It's got a bit of a... It... I, never found it, I never thought I'd find an ice cream I wasn't crazy about. Yeah, I mean, that shot was empty. I was going to ask you for what your highlights are. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what mine is. All right. This. This is my highlight. The, the this sweets moment and, now. This, this, yeah, that's a good one. New I, channels. New channels are wide open. Yeah. You're open. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
That's pretty good. My ankle is sweating. I've never seen that before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got all How the come, parts. I didn't so even know I had a sweat duct there. <laughs> well, yeah, it's leaking down like that, but uh, yeah, you don't yeah. want to be sat underneath this. <laughs> <laughs> Do they suggest pregnant women not? Do this. I am pregnant. Because Richard is asking. pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm. I forgot to congratulate thank you. you. Yeah, sir. Congratulations you. on your pregnancy. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Are you going to find out what, what it is? I think we may find out sooner than we'd hoped. Do people die in these things ever? Well, it's possible. Yeah, You shouldn't have to think. It should be no. We've got to. We've. I've got to. I've got to. I've got to get out. Sure. My ears are full of water. They're All sloshing. Right. I well, can just hear the sea. There would be plenty of more water outside. Okay, if you guys would let's like do this. Things are getting incredibly creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down sideways. I'm gonna so, go down uh, slow. They, yeah. Put your hand in it. My it's... eyes are stinging. It looks a bit like a BAFTA. Something uh, this show has yet to earn. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Well, this could be the BAFTA clip. Oh, is it, Come I, on. do I have to talk to my representatives to submit it to the committee? I think it's it's presenting itself oh, now. God. This could be it. This, this could the be one. the time. Yeah. It'd be a hell of a shame if we died on a plane on the way back and this was the last thing we recorded. And this is this is it. This that would not be. Now, if that happened, do you think they they would give us? I one? think we might get posthumous yeah, BAFTA yeah, for this moment. Posthumous, posthumous BAFTA. Let's go for the self-referential moments. Yeah. Oh. They'll have to show this kind of yeah. in a slow motion and with, with some serious music playing over. Yeah. Just going, yeah. yeah. Their this plane like was gunned down by hostile fire. <laughs> oh, so we were shot down. Yeah, I think so. I think it escalates and it's, it's like a kind of Armageddon situation, but they still find time to hold the BAFTAs. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. We'll, we'll split this bear. OK, yeah. yeah. How are you in helicopters? Uh, I'm okay in helicopters. Uh, how about you? I mean, terrible, of course. If you need to hold my hand, that's fine. Because it's about to get real. Yeah. I I mean, I presume that as standard. <laughs> Even in a conversation, if I'm lagging, anytime, anytime I'm lagging, you feel uncomfortable, I'll just reach out. Reach out, hold my hand. Yeah. We'll There'll get be through. some sort of energy, and it'll be fine. That's good to know. Okay. This is where it goes. Okay. I feel like I maybe weigh a little more than you. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's tilting down. Smooth as you like. <laughs> how, how is your Chinese? How is your Mandarin? It's less good than it needs to be for any form of communication. So, is, so ex existent or non existent? I say zero. Zero. Okay. How's yours? We're right about the same. Okay, yeah. I will say, actually, uh, thank you, because this is, is sort of invigorating, and it's, it's actually very nice after a 14 hour flight. Well, you're welcome. There's nothing better than to be on a, a less stable mode of transportation. <laughs> After this, we'll try and unicycle over some of these hills. <laughs> just... Who wants... I mean, I think the pilot might be enjoying it, but no one, no one enjoys being... I really hope the pilot isn't that way. <laughs> Where is... Oh, OK. I'm hoping he's, I don't know. I'm hoping this, he's facing this forward. This is how frightened I am. I haven't even looked around yet. This is like uh, a dream come true for you. Oh, we're nearly, we're nearly at that dream. That's the dream. That's the dream. Landed. We're here. Okay. I can't tell you how much oh. I'm looking forward to this. Oh. Can Idea. you arrange a charging experience for Richard, where he can just come in here and charge things? Yes. Yes. Everything we have in the can room. Can I charge my devices to... from near to the bath? I guess we can make that happen. Well, that'll be ideal. That is helpful. That's too much play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that much play. That's for the in-room karaoke. Oh, you can... oh you've done it. Hey, now. I'll just feed that back. I'll speed this up in editing. I'm sure it'll be or fine. Or leave it long. Or... That's... Well, you've done it. It was a loss of play, though. That's... Where do you expect people to go with this? Well, it's like a cordless mic. Like to take a shower. And... Part of the experience. I and mean, this is if Axel Rose wants to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is terrific. Sure it is. Thank you so much. And anything you need, please let us know. Yes. And I hope one other room. That's what we need. One other. <laughs> one other room. We're not sharing. What are we, Eric and Ernie? No, we're not sharing. That, that's completely lost on me. Eric and Bert and Ernie? <laughs> oh yeah. There are a lot of. Ta I mean, you're happy to come and use the charging facilities, but then like if you need to sleep.
Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Well, yes. Well, I'll I'll, I'll probably need my own space. Yeah. Absolutely. You can come in for the bath experience, but fair enough. After that, your own quarters. Yes, we will arrange everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Yes, and this has been tremendous. Come. We certainly will. Yes. Although, why would we leave this room? This particular I room, see indeed. A reason. It's impossible. Light the candles and let's just hang out. Yep. Yes. Put it on the. Um, grab a tablet. I'll grab a charger. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's good. It's awkward. I feel, <laughs> I feel like we're businessmen. Shall I shake your hand? <laughs> Just in case. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Light the candles? Yeah, let's start up the... Uh... I mean, it's nice, the Rolls Royce. It's fine. It, fine? That's your assessment? I'm not really a car person. Are you a yes, car but, person? Yes, but also, like, you, you must have some idea that this is an incredibly opulent mode of transportation. It's Just look at the shiny wood. Take a feel really of the shiny. knobs, as they say. It's wasted on me. I'm a Yahoo. I'm from the provinces. I, you know... There's another one right there. I can't appreciate sophistication. You can see it from the outside. It has curtains oh, in the back well, window. There are no curtains in this thing. This is why I feel let down. Dennis, yeah. do, uh, the curtains? There's no curtains in our no, we room? only two cars. Only two cars. Yeah, two out of 14. Oh, I see. Great. This is for the VIPs. Listen, let them have their thing. Paul Hollywood in the other one with the curtains. Is it Paul? Paul. Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. He founded Hollywood. That's so great. He is an incredible guy. Have you seen him? I've never met him. I tell you what I don't like about Paul Hollywood. What is it? He bakes, right? And then when he tests other people's pastries, he sticks his big old Liverpool hands in them. I don't... And now Paul Hollywood is a Liverpudlian. I feel he's Liverpudlian. That seems weird. I know. You would think he'd be American. His head is as wide as it is tall. This is anus to ankle, is it? <laughs> the anus... Yeah? Okay. What do you feel, what do you feel like you go, A to A? Like a 32? I feel like, like a 40. A 40? No, I don't know. Well, I have quite a high anus. <laughs> Is that on your Wikipedia page? It is. That's, That's unfortunate. Impersonal. That's unfortunate. Yeah. You can early, get that removed. Early career. Sure. After early. lowering the anus, the career took off. Took off. Yeah. Gosh, he's thorough. It really is. I feel like you got more measurements yeah. than I did. I think there are more anomalies. <laughs> oh, that's the good wow. one. That's the good this one. This is the girdle. That's the, the one you want. The up. No bad touches. Okay. No bad touches. This is the no to Peter Andre's claim. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And who now, who's Peter Andre? Peter Andre, you'll know him from the hit Mysterious Girl. Is he a musician or a singer? He is a singer. I, I don't know that even Peter would call himself a musician. Fair enough. And he's also known for having at least 17 abs. Oh, I mean, fit. it just keeps going. Peter ab, Andre. Ab, 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 ab. Was that one of his hits? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was a... Oh, 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 oh. That's good. Very nice. That's good. I feel this experience is going to go downhill from there. I th why, why lead with negativity? Sorry. Shh, please. I mean, bad for television. What, what are you good for being massaged. The whole thing... I'm very excited. In. Ooh, mine barely fits. OK, there's no need to boast. <laughs> Well, they barely do. Okay, sure. We all, we get it. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. That's a soapy foot. Yes, Richard, you had a question. Why does it hurt so much? Is my question. I think because you have to like let the man do his thing. Ow. Just just be okay with it. Maybe maybe some tea. I mean, it really hurts. It hurts so much. I think I have go. a lot of tension in me. I, I think so too. I think this is a. That's why I think this is therapeutic. But is it bad to be tense? Uh, uh, yes, I why? think studies why? show. We should be tense, though. Well, and it's just not always so tense. Really? You don't want to be kind of Look like at a the world. caged animal. Being tense is an appropriate response. Not a hundred percent of the time, though. It is. No, you have to experience it. This is what you do. You go to nice places, you see nice things. You have to let them wash over you. Like a foot massage. Ugh. End up with two clean feet and a relaxed attitude. My lady's kind. You know why? 
Because I deserve it. Why is he hissing me? Because you deserve it. It's sort of the Santa Claus, not in a nice situation. He's back. Now he's uh -oh. on the thighs. He's getting... Wow. Let me get the Ooh. other towel. <laughs> put, the, put, the, put the hot bag there. You get the heck away from me. You back it up. Back it up. Back it up, mister. Oh, that's got to feel good, huh? That was very close to the where I'm snaking down. The swimsuit area? Whoa. It's not dislocated. You don't have to pop it back in. He obviously thinks this is a car a jack. Massage. He's trying to lift up the chassis. Hey, now. He's definitely trying stuff out. <laughs> I think that's impressive. And I, for one, am glad to witness it. Watching a master at work. Good gravy. Ow! For a man who reminded me very early on in the process yes. of the sign that says, shush, please. Yes. You're making a lot of noise. Okay. Anything letting us down? I know. Footwear. Not the worst. It doesn't not go No, with it's not this. bad. It's just I would prefer to have a, a maybe it, a... It could have been a little smarter. We need a 24-hour cobbler. So that's what we need. Let's start one. Who do you know? Daniel Day-Lewis. Who do He's retired. But he's cobbling. He should be here. Daniel! Dan? He's not, gonna, he's not gonna produce a shoe in 24 hours. That's like a 24 year Dan Day? Does he go by Dan Day? He's probably, he's, he's taking Double you from D? calf to boot. Yeah, I know. selecting he's, the calf, right. it's a bespoke befriending it in character, then 12 years later, kk, moccasins. Is that a mock? I think yeah. like a, I think a stately brogue. A work brogue. boot. Like a work brogue? Like a lace up brogue. Do you have maybe a wing I tip? think it's a kind of brogue where you've got kind of clips. And you're kind oh, of, like a monk strap yeah, situation? You, you lock it in? Yeah. Well, well, he can do whatever he wants to do. That's the D-Day way. Okay, I'm going to just call it that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's well, <laughs> call time on that. <laughs> whatever that was. <laughs> when he says, was that good, we'll just go great. Well, you'll go great. Yes, what will you do? Uh, maybe I'll go on my phone. Really? <laughs> no, distract just... myself. Okay. I don't want to be impolite. Can you be honest in terms of giving feedback in restaurants? No. You always just go, fantastic. No, it's like you do to actors. Just tell them it's absolutely marvellous, darling. Right. Yeah. The best thing is to say, you, you must be tired. Yes. That's the best thing to say do after a performance. You must be exhausted. Because you've given so much. Yes. Yeah. But also, only a very tired person could have acted that badly. <laughs> is the other implication. Yeah. Yeah. All these Christmas trees. Which one are we going to get in Trafalgar Square? We don't know. That's what makes that ceremony so dramatic each year. So Which special. one would it be? Uh, one thing in Norway, I'd say, is that if you just take an intake of breath, you can sound quite Norwegian. Yeah. 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 Oh, it did. Yeah. Ah. So that's just a bit of local knowledge. It's good. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Have you been to Norway before? I've not been to Norway. Okay. It was quite low on where I wanted to go until Stop. I got here. This is fighting talk. Have you no idea of this country's reputation for excellence? Well, thanks to you, I'm yes. learning fast. Yes. Why was it low? Because I like discos and a suntan. What are you, 12? You like discos? Do people still do the... The lasso, is that still going on? The lasso is not so popular really? as it used to be. Would you say you're mainly arms or legs? Hips. Hips? It's all hips. I imagine yeah. they don't like. Well, that's wonderful. So, I mean, presumably you can do that in Essex. Yes, but I like it with the, the beach and the heat and the, I mean, everything that Norway's okay. not offering. Right. But I'm enjoying what But Norway's discos offering. are inside, aren't they? Yeah. We start off with a little snack. It's uh, Norwegian scallops. That's good to know. Are you doing one mouthful? It's, oh, oh, oh. it's not so ladylike, the necking the whole thing, but it's amazing. The texture. Mm. What's going on? There's a vulgarness to the texture. A vulgarness? Bay? It's Rippers? <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Mm. But the taste is altogether different. I don't um, do this on MasterChef. There's a vulgarness to the texture. Pete, you need to move on from that. 8.30 broadcast. Exactly. 
Are you going to leave a lot of it to be consistent with your earlier rudeness? Maybe, but the only thing is, there's I think there is quite a lot of dairy in there. Okay. And um. I have an intolerance, which leads to a very similar response. As You're I have a bag of wind. <laughs> You're a fucking bag. <laughs> you have an intolerance. <laughs> Jesus, woman. There's only one way to go with my intolerances. We have bodies. We yes. have colons. <laughs> and sometimes gas gets trapped in those colons. Stop talking about my colon. You're the one who bought it. Oh, that's wrong. There are other people here. What, you think they don't have colons? They've got colons. And that guy's got a colon. He's got a colon. He's got a colon. <laughs> and those guys don't have colon. All of these people have colons and they've all got trapped gas in them. And at some stage, that gas is going to come out. And if we can't talk about this freely on this show, it's an 8.30 show, it's a family show, then what the hell are we doing? If we're not making people more comfortable with their colons, then we're making people less comfortable with their colons. And I don't want to be doing that. Not in this day and age. I want my daughters to be able to pop whenever they want. To feel free. To feel relaxed. Okay. I'm eating dairy. Just calm down, my colon. I feel very passionate about relaxed. this. I've been a gas advocate for a long time in my own spare time. <laughs> oh dear. Heck of a mm. meal. Heck of a meal. <laughs> After you. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Yes. This is cool. Did you not bring your own bat? Oh, you brought one with you. That's right. To go with the trousers. Of course I did. I've this is not my first rodeo. No. Well, this is incredible. We don't need to see Brussels, we've got this. Why do you think I chose a hotel with a games room? I know you're highly competitive. I'm very competitive. I, we, we, we will not need to look around Brussels now. Now look. This will do me for days. Wait. We play for serve. Okay. Right, what's the sound, you man? We play for serve. One nil. That was very sneaky. It is a sneaky thing, isn't it? Well, this is great cardio. Right, come on, let's get a rally going for, this, for the screen. This is terrific. This is like the old days of Channel 4. <laughs> oh, this is The first point of is going great. Oh, oh come on! Okay. And it's good that you're a very restrained celebrator. Yeah, that was unlucky, Richard. Yeah. Go. Oh, no. You haven't won a point yet. Just saying. Why not? No. Watch the child. Oh! oh. Did I win that one? You won the point, yes. I think I did. Well, I, I lost it, but Fine. same thing. We can probably only give this about three more hours. What, for television or? Yeah, because okay. it does look like we are on remand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! I think That's you're winning, Richard. The table tennis, there's no ball boy. You just have to get your own. You have to fetch it yourself, yeah. That's exhausting. Yeah, That's but you are... why I don't play. Right. The only thing I like about table tennis is this. That sound. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, and do you know what I love? The post-match intercourse. True. This is where all the EU money goes. Oh, that was compelling. Well, this is um, really small, isn't it? 1 to 25. I find that incredible. Everything is exactly 1 to 25. And I'm trying to work out if that's true. It is true. Say, those soldiers' helmets definitely aren't to scale. But everything is 1 to 25. 1 to 25? That's right. Even the speed of that train is 1 to 25. That's not true. It is true. It's going 25 look, times look, slower look than it would actually be going. Look how fast it's passing the carriages. That doesn't make sense. That's going very slowly for a full speed train. It's not. Do you know what's weird? You go and see the real one, it's free. This one, 30 euros. Well, it's a ticketed attraction. You've got the European flag, of course, of course. next to the Belgian flag. Yes, yeah, a bit awkward, our being here, really. It is a bit weird for you, because you voted Brexit, didn't you? This is made out of Boris Johnson's hair. <laughs> I wish it was made out of his skin. Yeah. Would it be wrong to go and have a look at something from London? You're such a nationalist. That's not so... going to be here soon. Come on. Will they get rid of it when we, have when we Brexit? We're not part of the EU anymore. Thank you for oh. having us, oh. Lee. It's not all about you. Sorry. Meet me in the middle here. <laughs> You're going to teach us how to make chocolates. Just, well, just the basics. Yeah. I don't want too many competitors uh, in the area. So I think uh, you're safe. No, you decorate as you like. Lovely. There's no rule. No rule. Uh, anyway, you will bring back those chocolate home. So okay. I'll oh, take this away with us. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to eat them. Oh, no, charming. Thanks yeah, a lot. No, no. We have requirements for the, for a, the minimum, a minimum yeah, expectation yeah, 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 yeah. that we don't fulfil. So then back to the fridge. That's a good catchphrase. It is. Back to the fridge. Wow. You need a hairnet, you should probably have gloves. Should Lee be having gloves? Because he went to the loo for yeah, a drink. 
Can, can we not talk about my hygiene habits on national television, please, Richard? They're not ideal. Yeah, no, we've all coughed into a vat of chocolate. Let it go. It's heavy, this liquid chocolate. Come on, like do that. this, son. Oh, Come on. Gee. This is harassment in the workplace. I'm not going to lie to you. When you started talking, I thought, how hard can it be? It's only sticking yeah, chocolate in a hole. But actually, it is hard. It's done very well. I... So your, just... your English is too fast. I understand only half of it, so it's just keep going. Welcome to the club. <laughs> It's that dribble at the end. It's your age. And uh, then... Yeah. That's a proper old school joke. Thank I like you. that, Richard. Thank you. And the thing is, uh, you've got up in my estimation, Thank not you. down. The only thing that could have improved that is if I'd looked at camera at the end. <laughs> you've got to be always down the farmer's market. We have a local farmer's yeah. market, yeah. We don't go to it for much. No. I just don't like the people there. What's wrong with the people there? Well, they're the kind of people who, you know, are too snooty to go in Tesco and just buy some pre-processed meat wrapped in expensive, ecologically damaging cellophane and instead they want to go along and get a brown paper bag of broken biscuits that have been made by local children exactly. in aid of Alzheimer's. Snobs? Yeah. Yes. Why can't you go and buy waterlogged ham like decent people? Exactly. Ham that's been injected with various pheromones. I don't know why I say pheromones, but... Well, that's why you're so appealing. You're so full of pheromone ham. That's what brings all the boys to the yard. My pheromone ham brings the boys to the yard. If that doesn't work, nothing does. I mean, I did briefly grow a third breast. Really? But it's, Where? Ba it's back in now. Has it gone back in? It's between my shoulder blades. When did it come out? Christmas. Yeah. It's nice for a party. Yeah, most of the swelling's subsided now. Did now you? I'm down to two packs a day. Right. And did you ever put cream on it? I didn't have to, but I just enjoyed it. By heck, Richard, you were hungry. You, you've hardly tasted that, look. I ploughed. You've run it through like a taut wire. I've got no class. Are you on the 5-2 the and you've just come to the end of a 2? I, I never come to the end of a 2. Sometimes you have to clip it. I just have to... Call it a draw. Five two. No, just sounds absurd. And also, I know those people who've done it. They get really very angry towards the end of that. Look second. at Philip Schofield. Did Pip Schofield do look that? Look at Schofield. Really? Oh, Pip. You don't need to. No. He's as thin as a rake, anyway. He's in tremendous condition for a man. He's in the age. condition of his life. Yep. What a broadcaster. I'm surprised when they made the film of um, Fifty Shades of Grey, they didn't give it to Pip. They should have gone with Scoff. Mm. He's got that sight. <clears throat> Air of menace. Yes. He? You don't want to know what's in his basement. As a lover, I imagine that he'd be both firm and unfair. <laughs> well, tender and undermining. Yeah. Poignant, but also too quick. It's okay, back to the banana. Now, wow. what is wrong with that? Answer, nothing. It's unimprovable. Like a young Carol Decker. A little bit of tasteful side boob, but yeah. nothing, nothing smutty. It puts the fun back into Funchal. I mean, if that's wrong, I don't want to be right. This is some of the worst art I've ever seen. It's absolutely <laughs> Oh dear. You know, of course, what Funchal means. I don't know. Fennel plantation. So I always thought that fennel, it's really just a jumped up spring onion. Mm. It's large. Mm. You won't have fennel in a salad? I won't deliberately put fennel in a salad, but I can eat a salad that contains fennel. Okay. If required. As an actor. Yeah. I feel a lot of these things will probably come up again when you do your Piers Morgan True Life Stories. Quite interesting, that. Okay. Because it's an object. Right. And I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what its purpose was, to present to the public a possibility of illumination of the pictorial material coloured in itself, which makes that any state of physical thing, stone, rock, bottles, clouds, can become an object of journey 
by impregnation for the human sensibility or the reader and the cognitive sensibility without limits of everything. Well, now you've said all that. Job done. It totally makes sense to me. As this, I mean, this is beautiful because I always find the female form rather more attractive than the male form. How to dare you? To look at. How dare you? I'm sorry, but the world will agree with me. I feel highly triggered by that statement. I'm sure you do, but it's the truth. Look. Have you seen David Beckham? Yeah, there's always an exception. Of course. Bex. Always. Now, that's a man. I've what? Just, I'm right here. What I've are you just, saying? I've just noticed yes, that is, that a, is man. a man. Yeah, I had to look a bit closely. Yes, well, that's often the case, especially after swimming. It's nice. Yeah, he's got a niche under his crop top, but yeah. he's dealing with it. Yeah, well. It's both blue. I don't know what that is behind him. Rock? Chair? Scissor. Stone. Stone. <laughs> I win. I, you do. Okay. Okay. All right. It's meaningful. That'll be the World Cup. Yeah. I did a football song once and we needed that for the video and it was hiring it is impossible. Right. So I um, held a cantaloupe in my hand and dipped it in custard. Yes. And it looks almost exactly the same. Okay. That wasn't World in Motion, was it, my son? No, no. I wasn't involved. This was uh, much better. How dare you? That's one of the finest musical breaks in any song. You've got to hold the line and do it at the right time. I'm impressed that you know that. That was, that was when I broke with football, just before then. You look like a footballer. I do, thank you for noticing it. Do you want to hear the traumatic story? Yes. I hope you're doing a slow zoom. I was captain of the football team up until 11 at primary school. I was in the football team at eight, playing with 11 year olds. I was a lad oh, of natural talent, man, fast, were, grace, yeah. elegance, vision. At 11, new school. Catholic boys' school, only played rugby. I was in a segmented, siphoned off scholarship set. I was denied football at lunchtime. A victim of your own intelligence. And perhaps, let's just put it out there, the world's greatest footballer was snuffed out before I'd reached my teens. <laughs> and in protest, I never played football again. It is quite a horrible story. It's though, a terrible story. You could have been. I just think you might have been a different bloke if you'd become exiled. a professional footballer. Well, the world will never know. Mm. But yeah, anyway, if so, they weren't zooming in, they can put it on in post. I was told that there's two or three World Cups. One of them is kind of solid gold. So okay. I think it just goes from vault to vault. OK. But me and uh, David Baddiel once um, borrowed a World Cup we just used it for a photo shoot okay. and a man came in an armoured car kind of thing right. and he had to be there at all times. And he said, this is the one that's going to be presented to the, the winning captain in a couple of weeks' time. Right. And then he had to go to the toilet and when he was out the room, I, I, um, I rubbed my private parts on the World Cup. Oh, I thought you were going to say David Baddiel. No, that's another story. Yeah. And... Uh, when France won the World Cup yeah. um, a couple of weeks later and I watched the captain kiss the World Cup having won it, I felt I was organically part of the whole experience. He died three weeks later. Of course he did. Yeah. Hit by a car. No, um, Septicema. We've both told moving, personal, revelatory stories here. It's, inter it's almost like this is some sort of mystical crystal that, yeah. that triggers the deepest that's right deepest origin stories we should meet here for therapy every week can we make it every month every month yeah a week as soon as the word week left my lips i thought that's 52 times too regular i just realized today that the world cup is uh, coming up at time of recording we're recording this in may mm. who do you think will win the world cup so that when this is broadcast you can look a fool i think england will win the world cup okay are you saying that because it's impossible for England to win? No. I've got, I've just got, it's come from this, be, just being here, I, I sort of knew as soon as okay. I stood next to it, that the next time I saw this, um, it would be in the arms of a young Englishman. Okay. Or is it that I would be in the arms of a young Englishman? I don't know, that, there's yes. something going on in my head of that nature. Okay. I remember when Muesli in general, arrived in England. I remember when kettle chips came in. I remember um, when tea bags came out. 
tea bags came out. Mm. And it was Thai Phu, I think, were the pioneers. And their slogan... Frank, how old are, are you a vampire? I am old. old. No, no, it's not that long ago. It's sort of... When was it? it was tea bags? 1961 or something. And this is like, you know, commercial. They might have been had them in laboratories. But... The, 1960, the, what, what? So you were three? I was four. And you remember the shift from loose leaf to bag? I remember that the word went round that there was... These, what, round the, the kindergarten? Tea bags. No, hey, round the family. Tony, Tony Bill, there come over no, here. There were no kindergarten. Word on the street is... Um, you, you like caffeinated beverages, don't you, Tony? Yeah, well... <laughs> But the slogan, yeah. Thai food slogan was, no, <laughs> no teas in a bag. That was a short meeting. Do we, do we eat that? I never do. Anything sticking out at right angles from the dish, it's a garnish. So and I'll you've leave, got to take your chances. I'll leave yeah. the spoon as well. Yeah. I want some, um, my first middle class girlfriend, like, Went to our house and the family did me uh, a big spaghetti bolognese. And I got the bay leaf. And I didn't know better, so I, I ate it. Right. It was like eating a small medieval shield. What did the parents say? Was they it commented just, upon? They just raised their eyebrows. They're probably more concerned that you had your top off. Probably couldn't see your expression through your welding mask. You want to try the hot chocolate? 64% cacao. What's the rest of it? Milk. Oh. So it's cacao and cow? Yeah. It didn't last long, that double act. There was too much overlap. That's chocolatey, isn't it's quite it? quite good, isn't it? It's not what I said. I said it's chocolatey. It's too chocolatey? It's, I think it's... Yeah, I think it developed... Too chocolatey? Too chocolatey, that's my review. You that's can have too much. Too much cacao. I think it's very good, and in fact, I think it could possibly withstand even more cacao. Oh, and also, no. I love to see a doily. Yeah. I might that take that back as a, an anti-macassar for my action man sofa. OK. That'll be nice. It'll stop you having to make one. Again. All a bit 70s fondue, isn't it? It's the kind of thing I associate with the idea of key parties. Yeah, I think there was there was some partner swapping. <clears throat> there was also um, chocolate fondue people yes. used to do. Yeah. Again, very creepy feelings about the chocolate fondue. Anyone dipping a strawberry in something, that's not all they want to dip in. <laughs> a heck of a pickled onion. I like the, the cheese with the... I'm surprised they haven't come up with something that's uh, cheese and onion flavoured as a popular snack. I know. I still feel this is slightly seedy. You know, my wife and I are very broad mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> How do you feel about societal restrictions? <laughs> I don't know that we're meant to be monogamous. <laughs> in that outfit as well, you look like... Do you remember in the Emmanuel films, there was always like a sexual expert, was older man? Please. I haven't seen them, but I can picture myself. And he always said things like, um, love, love is like a exotic orchid, Emmanuel. And that's my casting. Yeah, I think uh, so. So like the mentor but not actually getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think if people don't finish the fondue, do they pour it straight down the sink or do they let it cool down and then scrape it out? I think they let it set and use it as placemats. Yeah. Or just put it straight on the walls by the look of it. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I, um, I think it's exceptionally nice. Oh. Oh, no. I keep feeling like we should be in a tent. The bub I, t I don't know. I don't know about the whole thing. It still feels massively creepy. I don't know why I've got some. It's something to do with the texture, 
the long spoons, the continual heat, sort of the vague smell of gas. I feel I'm going to basically end up in the back of a caravan having done something that I need to make a phone call about. You know, if the bottom's burnt, do you know what it's called? I'll tell you what it's called. Go on. Grandmother. Don't know why. And do people, are you supposed to eat grandmother? Or is that abandoned if burnt? I think like in life, don't eat grandmother. <coughs> okay. But do abandon. <laughs> do abandon grandmother. Okay. And leave grandmother for someone else to deal with. As in life. Have you been to Ibiza before, Jess? I've never been to Ibiza. I've always no. been quite frightened of it. Right. What frightens you? The level of partying. Right. Don't get me wrong, I like a party. Do you? I'm not afraid of a good time. I am afraid of a good time. I know. I'm already getting the sense that you don't belong here, no offence. That sentence could be said of any place I'm in. But maybe we've got it wrong. Maybe that's not what it's about here at all. Yes. Maybe people do like to relax. How do you relax? I... This is a great interview, isn't it? This is really great. I mean, people say that I can't relate to people, but this conversation is flowing like wine. Anyway, have you been to a Ibiza Rich Diawadi? Look at me. I'm gonna guess no. No, I've not been to a nightclub. You've never been to a nightclub? Why would I go to a nightclub? It's at night. Do you want to stay here and just do one of your patented Valeric beats by this sparkly car while I get to speedy boarding? Yes, because, yes, that's absolutely ideal. I want to make sure I'm early in the queue for speedy boarding. I'll just bring it, I'll yeah, just bring just it in slowly. So what are they called? They're called human fish. I don't know why. Well, they don't look like humans, they don't no. look like fish. So you may as well call them rhinoceros dogs. Why, if there was a god, we all know there isn't one, but if there was a god... How dare you, I'm right here. I know. Yeah, I want a head, I want front legs, yes. body, and then on and on and on and on. Oh yeah, some back legs, the... and then keep going on and then stop. Yeah. I mean, what? Some things are more thumbnail sketches than fully developed. I mean, yeah, look at me. Interesting, look, the, the stalactite's coming down, isn't it? Lionel Richie missed a trick. If on Dancing the Ceiling he'd managed to yeah. work in stalactites, <laughs> could have been even better. Yeah. You it's met, difficult to imagine. Have you met Lionel? I've not met... Don't... Why are you trying to hurt me? Why? No, I've not met him. You want to him. meet him? Is it an option? It is. I'd it's love to meet him. It's option B on the... Uh, on turn over your papers. The, yeah. I'd love to meet <laughs> Lionel. If, have you if, met if, Lionel Richie? No, I never. Uh, but uh, you need to go out first. That's Exit from the cave. So I hope you know I the way, you remember the way. I will leave when I'm ready, sir. <laughs> I no problem, but I, I, I will I, leave. I'm, I'm not sure. leaving till Lionel comes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were saying Lionel Richie is not allowed in the caves, but no, he is allowed, but he's yeah. not here at the moment. You can't trust him around rock formation. No. Milan has, is very fashionable, is it not? Yes, yes, yes. sure. Why? Swan. Why is Milan so good for fashion? Uh, I think it's the most important in the world. <laughs> okay. Have you been to Birmingham? Yes, yes. Okay. But uh, the best in the world. I you do the maths. I understand. No. Can we try on some items? Have you got any dresses in his size? Sh sure, I think. And for my... Don't you worry, I'll find me ...contractual stuff. companion? Mm. Much, <laughs> much, <laughs> much more. Lots more. Oh, okay, that's fine. Lots, lots. <laughs> She's very defensive. Be because the men's yes. are conservative. They, they, are. they don't sell the old, the old things. Okay. Women, they, ne they need uh, new, new, oh. new, new, new. So they change and they sell. Yeah, there's ah. a greater turnover, yes, but with an undercurrent of criticism about the fickleness of women there. So, Morgana. See. Si. You're going to survey the land here. Indeedy. 
I come with you. I'm in the market for a satchel. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Good luck! This is uh, yes. what we have in man. This all is yep. this. Come on, I can get into some of this vintage stuff. Oh dear, it's too small. The shoulders are good. Good for you. Buttons are in horn, real horn. horn. Just not slice. Plastic. Not plastic. Horn, please. Please. £690. A little much. A little much. much. Maybe much, with the skirt maybe. is too much. But This jumper, however, have you ever seen Howard's Way? How what? It was a yachting-based drama, I guess you'd call it. I don't it. know. English. English. Never used. I'm not surprised looking like that. It's hard to find the occasion to wear this. Probably once you've won the regatta. It's a hell of a jumper. Very good. Heck of a joint. I've not found much. Shall we go? This area is colder than you'd think. This is the same grape variety that Leonardo da Vinci had in his vineyard. Is it? A long time ago, yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't drink white wine. Are you planning on getting through the entire bottle? How are you going to recork it? That seems very cavalier. That's a is good that sound, isn't it? I don't like white wine. Drink it? I, I mean, I don't like white wine. I'm basically opposed to fun. Just be polite. Okay, sorry. I'll just have a small amount. There we go. Cheersies. To better times. <laughs> so. Oh, it's sharp. Is it meant to be that sharp? It's just it's a young, taste of isn't white it? wine. It's young, it's a young wine. Right. Yes, you want to pace yourself because we've got to get round this frickin' city. Yeah, that's fuel. Is it? Yeah. Lady petrol. Well, long day ahead. I'll just pop it in the fridge for later. Right, okay. Can you stop hitting my glass? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, it's very aggressive. Wish you to the end! <laughs> Where do you stand on alphabetic spaghetti? Fad, gimmick, or are you behind it? Could you please... Spaghetti. Like, yes. But it's the alphabet. So you get an A, B, C, it's... So when... No? You don't have it? Wow! I knew we were advanced in Britain, but I didn't know how advanced. So alphabetic spaghetti is it's standard spaghetti in tomato sauce, but it's the alphabet, so... Yeah. Am I on Mars here? So, you, on your plate, you can make letters, Letters, yes. swear words. It's a great way to develop language skills and keep dinner fun. You don't have alphabetic spaghetti. <laughs> alphabetic spaghetti, no. But this is what the about... home of pasta. And so what you do at this stage is that you'd start making them into the letters. You, for the uh, spaghetti? For the, alpha, for the alphabetic spaghetti. spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. And so you'd make one. Could, you, could you show me? Just... Yeah, I can. Look, so let's take that. <laughs> That's a C. Mmm, <laughs> interesting. So, um, you know. And what about W? Are you testing whether I know how letters are formed or whether the pastor will do it? <laughs> That's a W. I don't just know the letter C. So you can write your name and Morgana one? Yeah, I can. I mean, <laughs> I mean it won't make it to broadcast, but I can certainly, I, I could do that. That's the whole joy of alphabetic spaghetti. So interesting. If you could do artisanal alphabetty spaghetti, you would clean up um, in a lot of the independent schools. If I'm you did an alphabetty spaghetti with a pesto. Join up handwriting yes. alphabetical spaghetti. It would be like sold out classes. Sold out? There's only two of us here, so you can I'll laugh. I'll consider about. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to my previous job. Okay. Well, I'd love to go back to mine, but I'm, it seems like I'm stuck. It was number one in 2003. Was it? By the end of 2003, it was number two. Aquaba, bigger one, trounced it. Aquaba. Now it's the seventh. It's the seventh? It's the seventh tallest in the world. What about the flag? Can you tell me about the flag? Yeah, the flag is in proportion to the pole. But is it like one of the biggest flags in the world? I don't think it's one of the biggest flags in the world. You don't think? You're supposed to know this stuff. Well, I don't exactly 
the ranking of the flag. I'm not even interested in the flag, to be honest. She brought up the flag, and I was clearly trying to steer it away from even mentioning the flag. Well, you know that. You know why that is? I want to focus on the pole. Well, yeah, but what is a pole without a flag? It's just a big stick. A flagpole. No, it's the a big seventh stick. highest flagpole in the world. That's Got what it is. Got to have a flag on it. Otherwise, seventh. it's not a flagpole. It's just a bit pole. I've never heard anything so demented in my life. Okay. That's so clearly the seventh highest flagpole in the world. It hurts. So if you sat on it. I think I might be the first person to sink in this lake. There's something wrong with me. There's like a kind of inner toxicity. Go on, Richie, you've got to go on your back. I don't want to go on my back. Yeah. Why would I want to go on my back? Because that's the point, you float in it. It's not, it's not, the, it's not why the sea's here. It is. It's not. That's not why it is. That's weird. That's weird. It's weird. It's very weird. On your back. This is wet salt. Yeah, go on, Richard, come on. Well, it's, this is what happens in casting sessions. Yes, I Before know. Before you know it, you're in a hotel for a meeting. <laughs> go for it, honestly. I don't want I'm to. I'm not Harvey. It's going to be OK. No, I can't. <laughs> and now I've got... Oh, that I do have cut to my face. Yeah. I can't do it. Is it salty? It's like a trust exercise. <laughs> Shall I go behind Jeez. you? Jeez. Go behind you. It's in my and, nose. And no. You fall, you fall Get away from me, Peter Brook. No. I don't want to lie back. I don't enjoy it. This sea is not here for us. Nothing lives in this sea. Yeah. Nothing. Apart from we, bacteria us, and us. some algae. We're barely living. We've shown that. <laughs> Look, I'm going to show you again. It's just salt. Follow me. It's wet salt. Follow me into the wet no. salt. Who Think... are you? David <laughs> Koresh? Here I'm we not go. joining your cult. Look at that. It's bloody salty. I've got, sp I've got that in my mouth. Sorry, I've gone all Robbie Fowler. But I've got a lot of salt in my mouth. You're ruining my zen. That's what you're doing. I can't believe one of the most prominent atheists in the country <laughs> has accused me of ruining his zen. Zen. This is a body of water in which you were recommended to only do backstroke. If that's not creepy, I don't know what is. Are you still definitely not going to float? I can't float. I can't do it. I can't go back. It's not right. Oh. I'm going to try, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Go on. I'm going to taste a bit of it. Good luck. i tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, bloody hell, that's, that's salty. That's right. Oh, my God, that's salty. Oh, God. That Microsoft Word book is probably out of date. The low-calorie cookbook. Do you have this in your arsenal? Uh, I lost 93 pounds with the help of AIDS and a calorie-controlled diet. I was going to ask you, actually, because you're tall. Thank you. And it seems to me that you never seem to put on weight. How the whole dare time you? I've watched your career, right. you've always been thin. Well, anxiety helps. Yeah. There's some anxiety taking care of things. But look, this guy, yeah. that's what you want an author to look like. He's amazing. Medical horror. Is that what he wrote? Yeah, he did Fever. To Barbara and Fluffy, my constant companions. I'm suggesting that Fluffy is a dog? No, Fluffy was his wife. OK. Barbara was the dog. Fair enough. I'm interested that his books are just called Fever, Brain, Sphinx, Coma, and then The Year of the, the Intern. Year of the he intern. wrote four books and thought, I'm yeah. going to have to make the titles longer. That would have been a different Bruce Lee film. Yeah. We <laughs> just did a lot of admin. Yeah. I'm going to get God Player. It's always good to have a spare copy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great there, doesn't he, John? When's he ever not look good? My baby. <laughs> what is that, a diary? It's my baby. We should get something about Jordan, shouldn't we? I'm going to get this. Do you actually again. want that? I'm slightly interested to see how it, the style of its writing. Oh I'm definitely God. getting this, and I'm getting God Player. OK, God Player is so dirty, I don't mean sexual. I no, mean, it is. Is it? It does need to be wiped down. Yeah, it does need to be wiped down. Thanks for uh, handing it to me. Yes. I may get a I terrible can't disease just holding it as well. Oh, Shall we pay for these? You can't get diseases from dust. Nigel Slater. Do you want to know why the sand's so red? Yeah. Iron oxide. Oh. There you go. Impress your friends when you're next at a party. Hello. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, now. God. All That's right. Let's just you to slowly. <laughs> Does it? I don't know that I can ever be truly comfortable on a mode of transportation that defecates. Have you ever had a piggyback? Well, not from someone who's currently defecating. <laughs> then you haven't lived. 
As absurd as it is, whenever I see horses go by and they're pooing, I go, oh, come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a sense with camels, they are the most pissed off about being used for transportation. It's Huskies, not. fine. Horses, they love it. Camels, really big sense of go away. Because there must I don't have been be doing a stage when they were just going along, fine. And then suddenly... Yeah, people. People were on them. People were it's on them. It's already hot. <laughs> They're going long distance. Yeah. And now, yeah. this absolute Huge. freeloader yeah. has decided. Has saddled up. I know. But they do get something out of it. What? Camel food. Camel food? They were eating before people were on them. But they were not in like... What do you think came first? They didn't... <laughs> but almost definitely, that bloke has got a big sack of camel food. So it's a steam train. It's a bloody steam train. What are the soldiers doing here? They take the tickets. Okay. I think they're about to get involved in this very staged reenactment that we're about to run into. It's a reenactment? It's going to be a reenactment. What kind of spoiler is that? I'm not preparing I, you so I, you can prepare psychologically. OK, but I would have been genuinely terrified. And now I'll just be kind of cynical about it. I'm letting the editor make that choice. If the editor wants to sow the seeds, yeah. the editor can do that, or the editor can cut this bit out and, and keep it as a surprise. I know, but I'm not a good enough actor to Without actually providing choices. look terrified anymore. Ah, please, don't force me into a compliment. Do you like trains? I do like trains. It's one of the few modes of transport that don't make me sick. Yeah. I'd happily go on trains. Would you? For a prolonged period of time. Well, that suggests that the premise of Travel Man yeah. would not work if it was Train Man. No, it wouldn't. You'd be happy? Yes. I haven't seen you happy so far. Thank you. Is this you happy? I mean, this is me neutral. OK, so that's pretty happy. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I'm quite happy with this. The dust is a bit much for a man with dust allergies. Yeah. You appear to have motion sickness. Yes. Allergies. Yes. A series of other psychological, neurotic issues going How on. How dare you. And generally be quite depressed about the thought of going anywhere. Yes. I'm difficult company. Yeah. Dave, I hate to press you to highlights of a trip. It mm. seems crass. Mm. And yet, we must sum up. Yeah. OK. Arriving. Yes. And leaving. Two highlights. Mm. And then in between? Petra. Petra. That's good. What did you... Okay. That was good. You didn't think it was good? No, I was, I was expecting more. I uh, had a massage in the hotel, but we didn't film that. Okay. That was good. Wow, this has been a memorable trip for you. <laughs> yeah. You arrived, yeah. concluded that Petra was good, yeah. had an unauthorised massage on the show's tab, mm. and now you're looking forward to leaving. Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's a holiday. It's a mental holiday. Hmm. Small hotel. Small hotel. Yeah, the you, man, you connected with that man. That man in the small hotel, I think he might be secretly my father. It's difficult to know what the difference between an abandoned car mm. and a hotel is. Yeah. And I'm, I feel he was really questioning those assumptions. Mm, mm. I'd, I could view that as a burnt out car, skip. Yeah, depressing. On the side of a road. Yeah. That someone's, that someone's put a but blanket over. just by over. branding. Mm, just by saying it is. Yeah. You know what we live in now? The era of self-declaration. Exactly. I'm inspired to open up my own boutique chain of hotels. They'll be open-top hotels. Um, they're buckets. buckets. With convertibles. They're going to be buckets. Are they going to be buckets? Yeah. Just and look. they're actually going to be smaller than that hotel. Yeah, if unless it's quite a large bucket. Yeah. yeah. They will also be night cheese. Oh, will they? Yeah. They'll okay. be night cheese provided to that open-top hotel. Yeah. Um, and for me, to come to Jordan and get a business idea like that. Yeah. What kind of cheese is the night cheese? Night cheese for me is a soft cheese. Yeah. I it's thought... a pasteurised cheese. OK, it's hard to get And it's here. a cheese that goes down easy. It's a cheese that you can digest and get back to sleep. Borsan. That's night cheese. Borsan? No, it's not Borsan. It's, it's, it's not got herbs in. OK. It doesn't want to have too much interest. I'd, I'd say it's a bland... It's probably... A, it's between a yellow and an orange. Feta. And it's probably in a tube. Oh, Primula. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of the little toothbrush mm. and a tube of toothpaste, I'd give a tube of cheese Primula. and a spork. <laughs> and that um, would be brandy yeah. night cheese. 4 a.m. <laughs> night cheese! <laughs> Wake up for your night cheese! Yeah. And sleep. OK. Uh, but I'm standing in a bucket. Well, you're happening? lying in a bucket. How am I lying in a bucket? What kind of bucket is it going you lie in? Arson first. 
Have you got any certificates? Paella school. You have a certificate? First rule about paella school is learn to make paella. Right. Macaroon school. First rule of macaroon school is don't talk about paella school. <laughs> and then embroidery school. You know, you there are no rules in embroidery school. Anarchy. They'll patch you within an inch of your life. You've got the three main certificates, macaroon, paella, and embroidery. Those are the big ones. There's a big five. The only other one I'd like to get is grouting. Do you think you'll ever get oats? Not this decade. Mm. I would like to um, make my own artisanal popcorn, though. Right. But that takes days. And your dream would be that you could put above the machine certified popcorn vendor. Yeah. You could embroider your popcorn machine, make a macaroon flavoured popcorn. Yes. What was the other one you had? Paella. Mmm. That's hard to That's work hard. on a popcorn. <laughs> you often see bums in the street mm. and you think, where did it go wrong? And just poke it out of the pocket, it's just a paella certificate. <laughs> Have you done a mixology course yourself? I'm one of the few people who uh, knows how to do the Lapsong suitcase, which is Please tell me about leather, it. Yes. buckles, for fun, it's just fruit fruit. Yep. and tea. Do you slow drip the tea through the buckles? I would have thought this was obvious. Mm -hmm. I put the gin in yes. and hold the briefcase over a bowl. Stay for 24 to 36 hours. <laughs> That's not so suitcase. We've heard, yes. we've heard some stories about Macca. Yeah, yeah, secret, secret, <laughs> secret meat. Secret <laughs> meat eating. Him and other vegetarians meet in an underground car park. Mm. There's a barbecue going and they just go at it with their teeth. <laughs> it's still on the spit and they're just in. It just rattles around like a big corn cob. And right. Macca's there, Simon Amstel, the lot of them just go... <laughs> <laughs> Russell Brand's underneath there, just letting the hot meat <laughs> just drip into his face and the beard. <laughs> and then wipes it off with his rosh. Yeah. Bang. Ringo rides it and just bites straight into yeah. the horse's neck. A lot of it is just raw meat. <laughs> just raw. Ta-ta. But they're a great band, you know. And yeah. They were that's great why band. they get away with it. Yeah. These lifts only go horizontally. East and west. Yeah. In a way, you could walk, <laughs> but I, I prefer to go side by side. There's one here. There is Are one there. Are you interested? No. You want the centre lift? I always Stick take the centre lift. Stick with it. Yeah. Tough scene to edit this one. Mm. <sighs> but the brave thing is to leave it long. You might lose another item in the show. <laughs> But you can't say what comes alive in well, filming. Shall we drop the skydive then? Maybe. And just make room for this. Yes. In the edit, did you get a car away that on the day it didn't feel like we needed one? <laughs> it didn't feel like we wanted one on the day because everyone was on the edge of their seats. <laughs> We're only going up one floor. In you can way, press it as many times as I you know. want, young man. Here we go. That's us. We're on, one, we're on one. And this one opens. <laughs> this one all day. You want a chance? This one. Ah. Come on, let's go in. What a great scene. It's a good scene. Don't cut it. To the cable car. Two words. Awesome. Awesome. Does I'm awesome really just mean there was some more? Some more, I think so. So it's actually a qualifier. Yeah, it really is. It's awesome. Two metres a second. It's quite slow. I guess that's probably walking pace. You've got a decent stride on you. I do, thank you. You do have a decent... I, maybe I'm going more than two metres a second. Do you reckon you're going more than two metres a second? Maybe. I think I'm going more. If I see someone I know, I'm certainly going more than two metres a second. In the opposite direction? Across the road. Oh, yes, please. Down the tube. No. Yeah. Ah. Oh, here we are. We've arrived. Well, that was a very sustainable journey. It felt sustainable, you know. Please, after you, Nish. No, please, after you. Let's not make this a standoff. 
I will not yield. Olá, boa tarde. Então, eu queria dois eclairs clássicos. Ok, here are the famous eclairs. Oh, okay. great. These for the locals are the best eclairs in town. Very good eclair. <laughs> yes. Great eclair. And you are thoroughly testing the theory that that eclair is delicious. Listen, Richard, I am a man of science. You are. I posited a hypothesis. You're like Brian Cox. I am. I am the, the Asian Brian, Brian Cox. The Brian Cox of stuff in your face. Yeah, I'm the Brian Cox of eclairs, baby. Of course you are. Posit a hypothesis. This eclair is delicious. That's, That's a hypothesis. Sure. Confirmed. Mm. Oh, wow. it's crispy. I didn't think anything could get sweeter than... For a man with my genetic history of type 2 diabetes, I yes. am playing with fire <laughs> pancreas-wise here. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. I feel at this stage I have to draw stumps. Call it a day? I have to call it a day. Because I have to get through the rest of it. Like Daniel Bedingfield. Like Daniel Bedingfield. I've got to get through it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you're not stopping, are you? No. I, okay. like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, can't stop. You can't stop. <laughs> OK. Buckle yes. up. 5D type. Yep. Oh, they've got actual yeah. aeroplane seatbelts. I think Ken Loach directed what we're about to see. Oh, did he really? Yeah. The 5D movie? Yes. Have you ever made a film in 5D? I wish. I wish I had the bravery. I'd love to see the submarine. Yeah. Just watch it and then occasionally someone goes... Oh. Oh, hello. Whoa. Oh, man. This is a motion sickness sufferer's dream. Here we go. Welcome to Porto. I will describe it through the eyes of a dragon, the symbol of the city, in the most exciting... Here we go. It's like somebody's trying to start I just a don't see why everything has to fly towards you in 3D. Yep. How are you feeling? I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot feel worse. Come on, mate, enjoy the Ds. Unless they're trying to make me associate Porto with Vaughn. <laughs> oh, now we're on top of the building. Oh, I mate. See that. This is really up there. <laughs> this is really up there. <laughs> oh, 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 the leaf just it. blew at me. Uh, oh, I man. Even These carry. 3D glasses are amazing. It's like there's I loads just, of bubbles coming I at me. I just don't care. I don't care whether I live or die now. <laughs> just get me out of Porto. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Just describe what happens now. I'm just going to close my eyes. OK, the, we're currently uh, sort of going over a very, very tempestuous sea. OK. We're circling a lighthouse. I just feel like Dustin Hoffman at the end of Midnight Cowboy now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I just don't care. <laughs> now I'd we're... do a lot of things different if I lived again. Mish. I don't, oh, I don't, something went off of our face. I didn't think I was ready for the combination of fact and end. <laughs> it's a very hard balance to make. Often you can just seem like you're undermining the premise. It's not easy. It's not easy Same at all. Same with Michael Burke. And you would have thought Burke would lead more on the fact, but boy, does he end. Of course he ends. He ends massively. <sighs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, it's another one. Oh, stop it. The last time I felt that ill, I'd eaten six prawn sandwiches. Why did you eat six prawn sandwiches? There's an all-you-can-eat buffet. I decided prawns were the most valuable foodstuffs. I should try and eat as much of it as I could. Did you fashion the sandwiches yourselves? No, I was, I was at an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. Yeah. You could have open-top prawn sandwiches. Right. They were fresh prawns. Yeah. I thought I'll just smash as many of these as I can. How many couldn't, did you get? I'd say at least six, seven. <laughs> couldn't eat prawns for a decade. <laughs> and I was eating them fast, Nish. <laughs> I was eating them so fast. Were you just huffing them? I didn't realise that you couldn't eat that much prawn in one go. You can't, man is not built for that I much prawn, I thought it was a lean Richard. meat. It's not a lean it's meat. It's not a lean meat. It's a creamy fish. It was with a creamy sauce, a Thousand oh, Island style dressing. You're joking me. And it did it not. It was cream on cream. It was cream, and that didn't hit me till the fifth. <laughs> I pushed forward for two more, and then I had to lie down. So and don't... then I was sick. Oh, right. And I kept being sick. I was just trying to extract value. I do uh, have a self diagnosed case of IBS. What are your symptoms? Yeah. 
some mornings it's torrential. Volume and ferocity. Absolutely furious. And how often are you hitting the pan? Some days it's all I do. All you do? Well, not all I do, but the majority of what I do. I mean, if that's all you do, that's a bigger problem. That's a bigger problem. You need to kind of get some kind of structure in your day. Because that is not, that's not an office. It's not a working, it's not, it's not ideal working conditions. No, it's not working conditions. So especially for my co workers. Even if, even if you've got a laptop. You can't, take, you can't take meetings in there, not in the current climate. Skype in. Just make sure you keep it close. Just low angle. Very low angle. You want to miss the sister. What are you eating? A lot of soup? Just mainly coffee and vegetables. As I say it out loud, I yep. start to think. I'd address the diet. Yeah, I think the diet might be. I think I might need a little bit more. That's your first port of call. I might need some roughage. I think, I think it's too much roughage. Oh, do you think it's too much roughage? Yeah, it's too much veg. Bit of carb. You want, uh, I'd, I'd go for a lot of soft breads. A lot of soft breads. Soft breads. And then I'd just sort of tank up on, on meats. Just drinking meats. Stuff to bung you up. I'm talking pork. I'm talking fowl. I'm also talking game. 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 So Gamey meats. Ga Pigeon. Pigeon. Duck. Goose. Swan. Canard. The canard. Grouse. Where does one even get a grouse? Fucking down the market. The market, grouse market grouse. Market grouse. Market if you think that'll do the job. Can't hurt. Hang on. Oh, that's like a weapon in Mortal Kombat. Never seen wow. that before. I feel that it's too ordinary to just put it to your lips and drink it with just your mouth. You've just used your frontal portal. Who are you, David Cronenberg? <laughs> Oh, look at it. And yet, as good as it is. Oh, what are you going to moan about now? Too much time's gone into this. The time equals the love. Does it? Yeah. So love's just putting the hours in. <laughs> clock yeah. in, clock off. <laughs> Ten hours of love. Oh, oh, dear me. So cynical. We need this for the next serving. OK. It's cocaine. Do they bring a razor? <gasps> wow. Oh, I love oh, this. It just sounds like we're eating this very close to a fountain. Shall we say, Richard, concentrate yes. a little bit. Sorry. Shall we say that we will always meet here this same day every year, as long as we live? What, as if we can get a reservation? Just say yes, say yeah. yes. OK. Oh, that's so romantic, thanks. 50%. OK. 50%. And that, again, is too strong. I don't know where I am. That's good to know. I, I really... It's hit you that I hard already. I don't know who already. you are. Well, you're but not I alone. Like you. I you're like not you. alone in that. Honestly, I, I love that. Do you? I want to marry it now. You, I mean, it's really lovely. You've got to pace yourself. It's lovely. You've got to pace yourself. And now I want to cry because I love it cheese. so much. Fill up on cheese. I'm um, already drunk. I'm two sips away from biting. I'm going to get the bill. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Chris. Chris? Chris. Yes. I love you, Chris. <laughs> okay. I adore you. Okay. We've gone from love to adore. Yes. Good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> she comes at you with her teeth. <laughs> Just, it's an elbow down on the top of the head. Yes. No, welcome the bite, always. Don't take the bite. <laughs> she has rabies. Thank you. you don't have rabies, Chris. Why risk it? I don't have ovaries anymore, so don't worry. <laughs> it's a lot to do with rabies. Just I want Chris to feel safe. Okay. There would be no future problem with alimony or anything like that. Okay. There would just be uh, the beauty of the relationship. Okay. Just saying. Mm. Okay. The other thing I'm feeling like I'd like to do is have a tattoo. Yamas. Yamas. Yeah. I think the portions, you could scale them back. And I'm going to take oh, one so piece of like? two for the road. And thank you. Welcome. I'm only um, leaving because he said we have to. <laughs> Otherwise, I would stay I and we would have a, a very meaningful relationship. Thank have you. a good day. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, in we go. How much do you imagine my foot shrinking over the years? You think your foot's going to shrink? No, it's just there's a lot of options he's giving me. Oh, how does that feel? 
if I do that. I, I mean, no part of that was <laughs> something I wanted. That's good. I was just checking you're human. These are called John Lennon sandals because... John Lennon got them. He got them. Did all of the Beatles have sandals from here? Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. Macca. And I think the drummer, too. Ringo, Ringo I call him. Poor old Ringo. But he was Thomas the Tank get, Engine yeah. as well. The drummer. Even the when you're in the Beatles, you're basically just the drummer. <laughs> just the drummer. I'm putting lots of butter on Wow, there. that is... Have you ever had bread and butter before? I'm using this as a butter delivery system. <laughs> is it because it's being paid for by the production? I'm trying to have a heart attack on camera because <laughs> I think it's the only thing that's going to spice <laughs> up this series. It literally will tear. <laughs> no one's ever needed to hack through bread this size. I'll be there in a sec, one sec. And there we go. I mean, I, need to, I mean, how hard do you think bread is? Mate, I mean, if you're needing to saw through your domestic bread, how are we going to get through a meal together? I just don't. We're know. not going to get through it. <laughs> I'm not Daniel Bedingfield. You're Please. certainly not. Sure. Is he your preferred bedroom DJ? Oh, I thought you were going to say is he my preferred Bedingfield? <laughs> oh, is he? Is yes. it? Oh, he is. He is. Yours? Has, has Natasha been on a trip with you? No. Why do you think you're here? Understood. <laughs> Last minute call from Natasha. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in Lithuania with Jimmy Carr. I understand. <laughs> it's the Vinci she is available. Yeah. What's that? That's What's a, that five that's digit? <laughs> right. That's your agent's number. Eight 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 one eight. Right. Do you like eating in restaurants? Do you find it strange? What bit do you find strange? That someone brings you food. Right and you never see them again. Yeah. Oh, that you never ever Th hang that's, out again? That seems an unusual relationship. It feels that preparing food for someone, you, ought to, you somehow ought to know them. Yeah, it's intimate. It is intimate. And it's that intimacy that I reject. <laughs> sure. We've got, we've got to the crux of that quite quickly, haven't we? Do you like we? eating out in restaurants? Yeah, I do. I sometimes quite like eating out in restaurants on my own. Of course you do. What's the problem? I feel like you'd prefer that. In a way. Mm. When I was young, my dad couldn't quite understand the idea of arriving at a table before the food was there. Yeah, I can see that. The whole Would... point of coming to the table was that the food had been put down. So he'd rather pull up the car as they're bringing the dish to the table? Yeah, or uh, drive in. Yeah, un understandable. That's why they exist. So, I'm late to the restaurant. Trend. <laughs> They'll never take off. Well, these are like trendy brooches. Incredibly trendy. You could put a bike one on. Are you a cyclist? I am. Of course you are. So would, would I... Fix gear? No. no. Why? Why'd you say that? No. Why? Are you picking a fight? Is that a fight? <laughs> you said That's... it with a look in your eye. With a, I said it with a look <laughs> in my eye. You did. There's a lot of backed up hurt coming out <laughs> that I don't feel I can take full responsibility for. I think this one's good for Not you. Not a fixed bike? No. <laughs> What's the opposite of a fixed bike? A geared bike. Geared, yeah. yeah. Gear, gears for days on mine. Really? Yeah. Racer, mountain, fold up. <laughs> just, just road. If you don't want to specify the bike you ride, <laughs> I feel, I feel because you don't want like to jeopardise your sponsorship deal. I feel like that's fine. I am going to say something wrong, you, you and Halfords are going to do a run. You want to keep that private? Yeah, it just feels a bit of an intimate yeah. detail that I'm not yeah. ready to share. Your riding life is a private life. <laughs> I understand that. I do. Uh, the cat? Oh, that's kind of cheeky, isn't it? I'm it's just like... very worried about making a judgment now <laughs> that's going to trigger you. This is the money shot, but enough about my legs. Please. All right. Rachel Hunter over here. Rod Stewart's probably going to write a song about this episode. Yeah. All your references are, I mean, even Rachel, Rachel Hunter is your most yeah. up-to-date reference oh, yeah. so far. That's right. And no one remembers who that is. I know he my... hasn't been married to Rachel Hunter I know my core for at demo. least 20 years. I know my core demo came of age in the 70s. Wow. Tailed off in the 80s. Sure. It's all through the 90s and now they're here and they're tired. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Yeah. Unbelievable. Say my arrest are out of date. Stormzy. Thank you. Go on. <laughs> So that's a new part of Dubrovnik, it's called Lapad. 
Yeah. Most of it was built in during the last 70 years. Oh, don't say the last 70 years to him. <laughs> He's only interested in what happened last week. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Then I should have... You know, do you know who Marlene Dietrich is? Yes. Don't get, put words in his mouth. No. No, no you don't. You don't know who Marlene Dietrich is? This guy's is. about 50 and he doesn't know who Marlene Dietrich is. I rest my case. God, Joseph I wonder, why no, one, I wonder why no one watches Channel 4 anymore. I remember the days it used to have its finger on the pulse, that channel. If it Morocco! Was, it was a dispatches here. Morocco. Yeah, 1931 um, film, von no, Sternberg. I know the country. Okay. Okay. Go on. Sorry, please, you were telling us. We're yeah. in the middle of a deleted scene. Go on. What do you ordinarily do on a holiday? What Can't... do I normally do on a holiday? Yeah, what do you do? What kind of activities well, do you pack in? Well, this is actually in? perfect for me because I love a city break. Of course um, I do. I like to think of myself as a cultured man. Mm -hmm. So if I see um, a rampart, you know, or a turret, um, You're I'm up like a ferret. <laughs> I'm up like a ferret. So uh, well, that's what they always say about me, you know. Yeah, like a ferret, up a turret. <laughs> show, show him a turret, he's up like a ferret. Yeah. If Elton John wrote a song about you, it'd be like, he lived his life like a ferret in a turret. <laughs> that's right. Um, and hopefully he'll play that at, at my funeral, my state yeah. funeral. Yeah. Um, Can you taste Croatia? Well, I feel like you've ordered the, the full English. Yeah. Um, whilst in Croatia. I was hoping for something a little bit more traditionally Croatian. What did you have in mind? I, I don't know what that is. I mean, unfortunately, I'm quite ill-educated on this part of the it's world. It's hard so to know which cultural prejudice to bring to bear. Well, I was going to mention sort of, you know, goulashes, but that doesn't seem right. No, I think that's hungry. I, I just... <laughs> same ballpark, though. Yeah, you know it's I mean? the same... I same, mean, same frickin' ballpark. It's all, it's all the same neighbourhood, isn't it's it? It's fine. <laughs> We're all friends here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, should we one day watch the show, this might become retrospectively very moving. I feel like there's probably a lot of people watching, though, who are fans, and I feel like I should try and capture some of that excitement for them. You're, you're already doing it, Steve. Here, Dick, it's that bloody chair off Game of Thrones. I love that character. Yeah? And how you just seamlessly transitioned into that. Isn't that good? Yeah, That's sort of um, a Bristolian abroad, you know? Yes. Maybe that could be a possible spin-off. That could be a spin-off. <laughs> a Bristolian abroad. Yes. Can I sit on it? Of course you can. I'd love to have a bloody go on it. Go on. Cheers. Off he goes. Oh, I fall right like a throner. It actually looks quite small for you. <laughs> it's a bit tiny, actually, this one. That with the Argyle socks is a real picture. It's a very pleasing tableau. Good. Do you feel powerful on it? I do, actually. I think that's the nature of thrones, isn't it? They just naturally make you feel authoritative, largely because they're raised up. I mean, it could be, it could be a garden chair, I think. <laughs> Once you're on a, yeah. on a kind of raised plinth, it gives you an authority, doesn't it? You're saying the art department could have saved themselves some bother. <laughs> just pop, I think so. pop down to home base. That's right. Job done. Do you want to have a go? Why not? Yeah, it doesn't work for you. What are you talking about? No. You just look uncomfortable, both yeah. in the chair and your own skin. I am uncomfortable in both those two things. Yeah, it's very, very visible. That's all right. I, I think authority ought to be more accessible. <laughs> I'm on the edge, I'm reaching out. Sure. I'm not man-spreading like you were. Right. You're more like Himmler. As opposed to Hitler. Exactly. OK. <laughs> the acceptable face. Yes, the acceptable face of National Socialism. Oh. Bucket Trip. list complete. <laughs> Shall we? Let's depart. Oh. And I could make conversation, but. Yeah. Do you I, know what I mean? I. <laughs> Ow! Wow. You just hit your own face on this. Yeah. There's got to be room in fact end for silence. <laughs> Because it's a new, there's a new fashion. Yeah. Like they just watch nature and stuff. Yeah, longers. Longers, yeah, and that's what we're doing. Light and shade. I think I've really hurt my chin. Can you see? I mean, it's, it's coming up. If it, if it comes up, I'll just let my personality shine through. Yeah. I'm very sorry about that. I'm I don't really know how to attend to the wound. No, I'm just excited about the possibility of my personality shining through. I think it's shining through. I feel like sometimes my looks hold me back. I understand. Yeah. That can help. That can bring me into a new... It might even it out. Mm. Have you 
absolutely heaving over there. Yeah, if you're living there, you've got to get on with your community. Well, that's not what happens in Ibsen. Am I right? Ah, uh, yeah. Am I right? Tell me where that is first, and then I'll tell you if you're right. Henrik Ibsen. You know, playwright. Oh. Uh, Doll's house. I live in a bubble. What is in this bubble? <laughs> Just you. <laughs> No, I've been to see. I've been to see quite a few plays. Of course you. Well, <laughs> if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Here you can see the biggest tree in Norway. That is big. How tall is that? No, it's over 50 meters high. Over 50 meters. It's bigger than your house. Please. How many stories has your house got? It's got two stories. I live in a flat with two stories. Yeah. But the stories it could tell, if you know what I mean. Yeah, Different. I, I... That's a play on words. Yeah. So this <laughs> tree was uh, planted here in the in 1900. Who by? By uh, f uh, researchers at the university yep. who imported many different types of trees. And this especially is from uh, British Columbia. You're welcome. And, um, Ole, will yeah. this tree get any taller? Yeah, it's still growing. So I think they'll have a new measurement in, uh, later this year. And then it's probably like 51 meters. Oh, man, I can't wait. No. I like the little short fat trees, yeah. little short squat ones. Bushes. <laughs> okay. So, um, should we go this way? Yeah. So it could be an extra metre by the end of the year? Yeah. Can I have my book back, please? <laughs> Look, why don't you try and get out of the world of films and books and live in the real world? Put because the real the world's terrible. It's <laughs> well, a you, terrible you, place. You're making it. You're making it. Get into life, okay? You look like someone who's been chucked out of a Peace Corps. <laughs> What's that? Oh, mate. <laughs> it's not all bad reading, is it? <laughs> you pick up some stuff. I read and then I forget it, so I probably learnt that and then thought it wasn't worth keeping hold of. The well, UN. <laughs> so, Peace Corps, uh, blue uh, helmets, please. Take it all the way through. This Meet me halfway on some of these jokes. Okay. That's what I ask of you as well. You're not allowed to look at the camera, the okay. director told me that. No, it's That's fine. Good. Occasionally it's day okay. Day one. No, he said day they one. They don't like it no. in general, but occasionally it's okay. He said this isn't Miranda. <laughs> I wish it was Miranda. We'd get some frickin' ratings. Miranda, I'll ask for a pay rise. How long will it take in all? Not very long, like 30 seconds. I'm just thinking about needing the toilet. As soon as I touch a bar like that, memory comes in and I, it's just, it's just, I'm, you know, it's like a yeah. reflex. And yeah, also, yeah. I go to the gym a lot as well. Yeah. Sorry, you've got eyes. Yeah. Cinnamon. Is it? Do you like cinnamon? I like buns. I felt like you avoided the question. <laughs> Yeah, I do like cinnamon. And no's a fine answer. No, because it lowers your blood sugar level, which is helpful. This is a better bun than in... Um... Don't take Greg's. No, I don't go They there. do a heck of a bun. Do they? Iced finger. An <laughs> iced finger? Hmm. How many times are you popping in for an iced finger in Greg's per month? Oh, I thought you were going to say per day. Mm. And the answer would have been twice. Twice per day? Get out of Norway. Finger. I would if I live locally. Mm. To a Greg's, which I do. I'm just very horrified by these birds. Where's the little the cute one? I've been chased away by these, which have attracted. I'll put this on my shoulder and see if it pops in for it. You know what I mean? I think that bird would actually look to avoid you at this moment. <laughs> I think that bird would just go, I can't trust this person. If I look away... This is thrilling. <laughs> This is a thrilling moment. Let's see. <laughs> what time's this going? <laughs> I think this might be one of those episodes they just bury. How's your vegan basil? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm well, having... that's the review they want. <laughs> no, this is adequate. When adequate. I have basil. How ba good is the ice cream you're eating regularly? It's quite good. I have. I'd um, say it's excellent. I have um, Funky Monkey. Is my favourite. <laughs> Where's that from? Ben and Jerry's. Oh mate. Dairy free, and it's called Funky Monkey. That is so basic. I learned that from a millennial. So it basic. suits you. So basic. I don't like it when you're directing it at me though. It's so basic. Yeah. Do you know what's basic? You using the phrase basic. You know what's basic? You being unable to accept the term basic. Applying to you, you know because you're so basic. Do you know <laughs> That's what's basic. Do you know what's basic? Do you know what's basic? Yeah. Your DNA. <laughs> if you look up basic, it's just got a, 
a specific spiral of your DNA. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Right. This year actually is the 70th anniversary of the district. 70th anniversary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how, many, how many years? 70. 70. 70. 70. I can't really hear at the back because there's um, <laughs> a huge amount of rattling. It's Joe, the if you're going to keep the energy down, yeah. <laughs> frankly, that's encroaching on some of my territory. <laughs> The danger is it's going to be two people <laughs> both not doing something. And that's a, that's a tough sell. Even for Channel 4? Even for Channel 4. Even for Dave. Does it get repeated on Dave? I hope so. I hope this is packaged up. It has been worth living and working for this city. Look at that train. Choo -choo. Parquet flooring. Choo -choo. Parquet flooring is lovely. Lovely. We've got it in our hallway. Shut up. Mm. That's my dream parquet flooring. It's, um, it's really nice. It costs a bit, really. Of course it does. I'm early. You've really made it. Thank you. And you've got parquet flooring. I've Only in the hallway. It's quite a small hallway. We've got it in the Horniman Museum. And I think, pff, nice. So where you go? To, for my parquet flooring fix. The only thing with parquet flooring you should be aware of, it's... Even varnished, it does have a tendency, if you spill water on it, to stain. Yep. So. And you need a very solid base, concrete. Oh, really, to, to, to apply to, to hold yes. It. Yes, of course, that goes without saying. But. What kind of flooring have you got in the rest of the house, flat? <sighs> Laminate. Nice. In the bedroom? Laminate. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. Wipe clean. Not yes. your first rodeo. Exactly. Always because I eat in bed. Laminate on the walls? Oh, hopefully after this job I'll have a couple of quid and... You can laminate the walls? Yeah. When you say laminate, like a lino? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Patterned okay. or plain, like a hospital? Um, a mixture. You've not been to my house, have you? I think I would have remembered. Mm. I can't remember why I saw it. Do you have arrows so that you know which lane you're going down? We have uh, a, a central blue line through the wall like a hospital. You know, hospitals have a, a blue line. When you say there. your house, are you sure you're not thinking of Ikea? Oh, f yeah. Um, yes. Richard, were you happy with your choices? I'm very happy. I thought you railroaded me. Sorry. Okay. What would you have liked to have had? Would have really liked. Um, so you didn't have it in your chicken. mind. You fried didn't have chicken. it in your mind. So when I offered you the option of fried chicken or potato bacon smoked cheese, and you went potato bacon smoked cheese, yeah, but it's the way we you recorded said, it. But well, the way you said it, you said, would you like bacon and cheese or fried chicken? I don't have that much range of expression, as you know. They were quite similar. Thank you. But I know you. You don't know me. I do know you. you don't know I, me. I know you better you than you know, know yourself. You don't know me. I don't want and to fall out. You'll never know me. I don't want to fall out at this point. Lucas AD. Quite Lucas AD, that one, maybe, isn't it? Maybe it's this one. Okay, I have to warn you, this one will be a little bit challenging to frame. <laughs> but if you're up for challenge, then you can take it, I guess. If you've seen the show, you know that I'm one of the most up for challenge people, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> Working in the West. Cool. This, sh this show has showcased my enthusiasm for nearly five years. 43 episodes. 40, this is the 43rd, depending on mm. time. You took the time to invite me. We tried to not. Mm. I'm we did everything we could to stop you coming. So this probably coming. should be arguing for We did everything we could to stop you coming on the show, but you just, you just turned up. Mm. I've where you are. I'm lucky you're here, so. Thank, it helps thank you, thank you. <laughs> you weren't booked. I know, I wasn't. It was a shock of my life to see you at Heathrow. Well, I'm here now. I wanted Russell Howard. I know, but he didn't turn up, did he? I wonder why. Sorry, we shouldn't be arguing. <laughs> Any of the Russells would have we'll taken. We'll do this over a sparkling Kane. water. Any of the Russell brand. Any brand. Hearty. I said I wouldn't get upset, but I am. I am. T Davis. Any of them. Grant. Grant. Especially Grant. Get out of my bath and get into my car. Was that the Billy Ocean song? <coughs> Just get out of my bath. Okay.
Fine. Thanks for showing me a room. Yeah, I'm not going to bother you in your room. Bye. Because I've got boundaries, Thank unlike you millennials like you. <laughs> You've never been told no. I'm Gen X, mate. We know about pain. We lost Kurt. We lost Bill Hicks. Eddie Vedder, we couldn't get rid of that guy. He's still frickin' knocking about. Are you enjoying your trip? I'm quite enjoying it. I think if you stop <laughs> rowing now, yeah. I just want to see how strong the wind is. I think it might be better to just go with it the wind. It might be better just not to row. Yeah. And we're think... actually moving faster now that you've stopped rowing. We might... Oh no, we're going to crash. We're going to crash. Crash into what looks like... No, that way. A group of oh, people no, on an exchange. Oh no, not a stationary boat. Oh, I can't oh, stop it. Th this is a very... I this can't, is tough. I've got no control. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Right. They think they're so cool well, with well, their stussy hoodies. I think what we're doing is just going back in here. That's like oh. every Spanish exchange student when I was young. I was on a coach once and two of them sung more than words a cappella, surrounded by a crescent of women. Richard, it's a lovely anecdote. Not even, what are we not doing? even girls, they were women. They're only 12. Look, what's happening? Why are we in the first This is a wonderful again? trip. How'd you get out? I'm really enjoying this. Oh, yeah, this is the hard yeah, bit. This is the, yeah. They've invented the motor, but they haven't put one on. Again, it feels like you're going against the current somehow. I don't want to critique well, your you performance. Well, you seem to be critiquing No, I'm, I'm just... Okay. I'm just trying to understand this body of water. Okay, there we go. I mean, I do feel I could be doing this in Hyde Park, and then I'd be very close to a Dixon for my cabling needs. Do you have some cabling needs? I've always got cabling needs for my charging needs. I never have enough chargers. How long is your USB cord for your phone? It is a tight suit. I... Um, <laughs> it is... I've recently purchased a three metre and three it's, changed, meter. it's changed my life. What's the longest USB cable? Could you get like a 20 metre? Tw I think you can get 20 metre. I'd love that. I'd probably have it round my arm like a mountain climber. <laughs> Just plug in and then just abseil down. <laughs> Still texting. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. In you go. Do you think you're going to go back to carving at home, Ellie? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. Easy to buy it really sliced. Yeah, I like that ham with the face of the bear on it. Which ham? You can go to like the, like a, uh, the meat desk. The meat uh, desk. Meat desk. Okay. You know the meat desk at the supermarket. What? That Ronnie Barker's on. Yeah, <laughs> and Ronnie has on it um, like a bear. He's like Bertie Bear, and it's okay. a ham, and it's just like um, it's like reformed meat, and it's got the face of a bear on oh, it. It's okay. making meat fun. Oh, I know this okay. stuff. Yeah. It's it's not ham. It's like a sort of sausage. Pro processed yeah. sausage. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've just yeah. not been to the meat desk yeah. recently. Well, that's the problem. Are the masons as sinister as they sound? I don't, I don't have much information on the masons. Okay. I wouldn't say it was one of my specialist subjects. Which what is are my your subject? specialist subjects? Um, breakfast cereals. As in the manufacture, the packaging? Just sort of what's available. Okay. What's you yours? Need, um, I would say probably my specialist subjects are the films of Ingmar Bergman. Oh, okay. That seems on brand. It is, thank you. Yeah. And it's, it's a brand that's not particularly working out. People were invited to come forward and offer information about the practice of religion by their friends, neighbours and maybe even their own family members. For example, you, sir. Yes. That neighbour that you didn't like very much. Oh, this is role play. And the one who you just happened to know was having an extramarital affair with Don Ramon, the baker's son. Ramon, Don Ramon. I did not see that, I was a curveball. Ramon, comma, Don. DR. Was that regression therapy? Am I still me? I am. You are. And I'm out. Let's move okay. on. Okay. Gosh, you haven't been here long and you've already got someone killed. I don't care. A very democratic painting with many secrets hidden. And a child treading on a dog. On the His side. name was Nicolasito. Why is he treading on a dog? He was 41 years old. He's 41, he can tread on anything he likes. You can't 
just tread, just because you're old doesn't mean you can tread on dogs. Yeah, that's literally what it does no, mean. No, it does not mean that. It's only gallantry that's stopping me from putting my foot on your head now. <laughs>